Chapter 21 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Second. Han married wife of a wealthy old man 22 because Su Wangya was embarrassed by Meng Yang in the classroom, he lost his face and was naturally angry. But he wasn't angry that Yu Junchen hadn't won Meng Yang, but he was angry that he lived to this age, and he hadn't seen any scenes, but he wouldn't come to Taiwan because of the students he couldn't see at all. But Su Wangya also had to admit that Meng Yang's sense of smell is really strong. This time it was because he underestimated Meng Yang and he must bear it. But he does not think that Meng Yang must be stronger than Jun Chen, because a sensitive sense of smell is a necessary condition, but the talent in perfumery mainly depends on the ability to understand. Yu Jun Chen is one of the students with the highest comprehension ability and perfume talent. He believes that his future achievements will be very high. Maybe one day in the future, Yu Junchen's achievements will exceed him. And he thinks that Meng Yang wants to surpass Yu Junchen, which is impossible in terms of talent. Over the years, he has never looked away. Yu Junchen lost the test to Meng Yang, and while feeling down, he was also worried that Su Wangya would blame him for this, until his brother Wen Yuan told him that Su Wangya was not angry with him, and Su Wangya felt that Meng Yang would definitely be in the future. It was impossible to surpass him before he let down his mind. After the masters left the classroom, the students also went out and talked about the Meng Yang and Yu Junchen smell test. No wonder Meng Yang's entrance examination score is higher than that of Jun Chen. His score must be very high for the smell test and knowledge of spices. The proportion of these two scores accounted for the majority. As for the basic knowledge exam score, from him the statistics of all the results in the school before, you can know the approximate. I was quite sure that Meng Yang's score must have a lot of water, but judging by his performance just now, I feel that he has no need to cheat at all. So overall, is Yu Junchen better or Meng Yang better? I think Yu Junchen should be more powerful, because the smell test can be improved through practice, but talents like this are really difficult to change and improve. Yu Junchen has taken it several times before won the first place in the competition, but Meng Yang has never won the prize in the competition, so Yu Junchen is definitely more talented. But Meng Yang has now become a student of Master Lin Songtai. Under the guidance of Master Lin Songtai, maybe he will be more powerful than Yu Junchen in the future. Yu Junchen is also a student of Master Su Wangya, and Master Su Wangya's students are better than Master Lin Songtai's students. Isn't this what everyone knows? It can be seen that Master Su Wanya's guidance ability should be better than Master Lin Songtai's guidance ability is even more powerful. It is also said that Yu Junchen is obviously more talented than Meng Yang, and Master Su Wanya's guidance ability is stronger than Master Lin Songtai. Then the possibility that Meng Yang is stronger than Yu Junchen is too small. However, whether it is to become a student of Master Su Wangya or a student of Master Lin Songtai, it is an enviable and jealous thing. Meng Yang had two classes this morning and two classes in the afternoon. After the first day of the course, Meng Yang did not return to the main house of Longling Mountain, but asked the driver to send him to the headquarters of Luo Group. After entering Luo Xiu's office, because Luo Jiao was on the phone, Meng Yang took the fragrance he made from his backpack, opened the bottle cap and put it on a small round table, then sat down on the sofa and took out the plane. The computer looked up. He saved a part of those ancient books into a tablet computer, and as long as he was free, he would take them out to study and study. Half an hour later, Luo Xiu ended the call. Meng Yang put down his tablet computer and walked over to sit on the armrest of Luo Xiu's sofa. While helping him massage his shoulders and neck, he asked, Today is too busy. Is it late? It's not too late today, and it's over in four or five hours. Luo Xiu looked at the document and said. Then have dinner in the office today. Meng Yang said. How is school today? Luo Xiu asked. Meng Yang's massage technique really did and have to be said. Because of the accurate point finding, Luo Xiu relaxed involuntarily. Because he was too comfortable, 
he could end help but want to close his eyes and enjoy. The first day of the course is quite simple and easy for me to understand. Meng Yang said. Today, I entered the school on the first day. I wanted to go to dinner with Yun Jing to celebrate, but his family will definitely help he celebrates, and I am not good enough to let him accompany me regardless of the family alone. Meng Yang sighed on purpose. Luo Xiu said. If there is anything you want to say, just say it. Speak to you. Meng Yang said hesitantly. The generation gap between us should be large. My troubles and things like that, you may not understand, and you will only tell me there are some plausible reasons that may still teach me. Is this old image in your eyes? Luo Xiu said while signing the document. I don't know if it's old dot fashioned or not, but you have always wanted to treat me like a son, so I may be taught like a father. Meng Yang said. But, I recently, I seem to be envious of Yun Jing. His parents, grandparents love him very much, and his father loves him. In his heart, my son is not as important as Lu Yun Jing. Today, Yun Jing asked me to go to him I ate at home, but I worried that I would feel envious and sad, so I refused. Meng Yang hugged Luo Xiu's neck and put his face on his face and said, Uncle Luo, do you really want to be my father? But I don't want to be your son, what can I do? Luo Xiu speeded up the file, and then said. If you don't want me to treat you as a son, I can treat you as a brother. Can't there be other options? Meng Yang asked. So what do you want me to do to you? Luo Xiu said. I respect your ideas. Really? Will you really respect my ideas? Then. Meng Yang kissed Luo Xiu's face hard and said, Do you understand? Luo Xiu's face felt the soft touch of Meng Yang's lips. He froze for a while and said, Go eat. Don't you say you have to be busy for four or five hours to finish? Meng Yang asked. Today is your first day of school. You should celebrate it. Let's go. Luo Xiu stood up and walked to the side to pick up his coat and put it on. Luo Xiu did not respond to him. Meng Yang flattened his mouth in disappointment, but at least let Luo Xiu put down his job. Luo Xiu's headache cannot be completely cured in a short period of time, and the medicine can make him no longer have a headache. Meng Yang is still seriously studying ancient books. What he can do now is try to find a way to let Luo Xiu in it, best time to rest so that his headaches will not get worse. And Luo Xiu will always bring bodyguards when he goes out, and he will not drive himself, so Meng Yang does not need to worry about his safety for the time being, and can carefully study those ancient recipes. After the two had dinner, Meng Yang haunted him back to his main house, just not to let him go back to the company to continue working. Dot after returning to the main house, Meng Yang massaged Luo Xiu with essential oil, and then Luo Xiu went to the bathroom to take a shower. Uncle Luo. Meng Yang pushed the bathroom door open and was about to speak, but stood at the door and looked at Luo Xiu dumbfounded. Luo Xiu immediately took the bath towel around his waist, then turned to look at Meng Yang and asked, What's wrong? Meng Yang looked at the place where Luo Xiu was surrounded by bath towels. His brain felt a little shocked, and he had completely forgotten what he was going to say. Something to say. Luo Xiu asked again, then shut the water and looked at Meng Yang. Yes, it is. Meng Yang's eyes kept looking at Luo Xiu's body up and down, and he couldn't remember what he was trying to say. He swallowed and said, Nothing, I. I will remember it before I tell you. Meng Yang took the bathroom door, then walked to the bed and fell down, covering his hot face with his hands. He knew that there was a big gap between him and Luo Xiu in all aspects of the figure, but he did not expect that the gap would be so large. He couldn't help but worry about the future. After he and Luo Xiu reached that point, he could not bear it. After Luo Xiu finished washing and came out of the bathroom, Meng Yang went in to wash, and the picture he just saw had been lingering in his mind, making his body more and more hot. Meng Yang is all men, thinking about why the gap is so big, 
he ended the bath and then walked out of the bathroom. Meng Yang didn't cling to Luo Xiu as soon as he went to bed tonight, but looked at him embarrassedly at a distance. After taking a deep breath, Meng Yang cheered himself up and slowly approached Luo Xiu. He embraced Luo Xiu's arm as before and said, Uncle Luo, let's talk. What do you want to talk about? Luo Xiu looked at the news on his phone and asked. Have you been single for so many years because you haven't met someone you like? So what type do you like? Meng Yang asked. I haven't thought about this question, nor have I met the type I like. Luo Xiu answered truthfully. So you think, can I be the type you like? Meng Yang asked. Luo Xiu put down his cell phone, thought for a while, then turned to look at Meng Yang and said, I can understand that the uneasiness and loneliness in your heart, the emotions and feelings of people, sometimes there will be a temporary misalignment, but the misplaced emotions, sooner or later will return to the correct position. Everyone is saying, I married Uncle Luo, and I made it. In fact, I feel the same way. Uncle Luo is handsome and generous, and he is so gentle to me. I really don't want to give you to others. Meng Yang Xiu looked at Luo Xiu's eyes and said, Well, let me seriously think about whether my emotions are misaligned. You should also think about it seriously. Will you like my type, okay? Luo Xiu was silent. If you don't speak, I'll assume that you agree. Meng Yang decided alone. Chapter 22 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Second. Hand married wife of a wealthy old man 22 Meng Yang went to Lin Songtai's teaching yard the next day and officially became a student of Lin Songtai. He also knew each other with his brothers and sisters. After communicating with these brothers and sisters, Meng Yang felt that they were all very easy going people. After coming to class here, there should be no discomfort. Meng Yang feels that these masters like to accept students with similar personalities and styles. After Lin Songtai got up and left, Meng Yang packed up their things and prepared to leave. Meng Yang, we are going to dinner together today, so you go together. Wu Feng turned to look at Meng Yang and said. Sorry brother, I have made an appointment with someone today, next time. Meng Yang replied that he hadn't seen Luo Xiu in three days. He must go to his office today and let him have a good meal and rest. Okay. This time it was a bit sudden, and I will tell you in advance next time. Wu Feng said. Okay. Meng Yang got up and said, I'm leaving brother first. Good. Wu Feng nodded. After Meng Yang walked out of the courtyard, Yu Junqin and his two brothers came face to face. Meng Yang. Yu Junqin stepped up to Meng Yang and looked at him and said, at night I will go to dinner with my brothers and they will go with you. I want to introduce you to my brothers. Meng Yang ignored him and bypassed him directly. Meng Yang. Yu Junqin saw Meng Yang ignoring him and called him again, but Meng Yang still did not hear it. Yu Junqin could only turn around, and then showed a lost expression. Wen Yuan immediately frowned unpleasantly because of Meng Yang's attitude. He walked to Yu Junqin's side and said loudly, Why do you invite him like that kind of person? In our hearts, he even reminds you no shoes are worthy, which is worthy to eat with us, in the future you will ignore this kind of people, so as not to lower your level. Brother, let's go to class soon, otherwise the teacher will be unhappy if he is late. Yu Junqin worried that Wen Yuan would be heard by Meng Yang, so he would be more difficult to reconcile with Meng Yang, so he urged Wen Yuan to rush them go away. While Yu Junqin continued to move forward, he looked back at Meng Yang again, sighed helplessly in his heart, thinking that if he wanted to reconcile with Meng Yang, he must create a suitable opportunity. In fact, in the previous life, Meng Yang had already met with those of Yu Junqin's brothers, that is, Yu Junqin introduced him to them, but because Meng Yang's talent for perfumery was not high, they thought about it. It's nothing to look down on Meng Yang and ignore him, but often taunts him. Meng Yang hasn't been so stupid that he can't hear it, and then he won't meet them again. These senior brothers of Jun Chen are almost like their teacher Su Wangya, with arrogance and dignity. 
Although they do have the capital of arrogance, but they express their own dignity by taunting others, whether it is a previous life or this life, Meng Yang looked down on them the same. And that Wen Yuan likes Yu Junqin, and has always been very ambiguous with Yu Junqin in his previous life. Before Meng Yang knew that Yu Junqin had been with Luo Xing long ago, he always thought that Yu Junqin would be with Wen Yuan. Meng Yang knows that even if Jun Chen is now engaged to Luo Sheng, this life will definitely continue to be ambiguous with Wen Yuan. This is his character, and he will wait to watch a good show. In addition to going to the college every day, Meng Yang spent most of his time in the study room of the main house, seriously studying and studying the ancient books of Xiang Shui uploaded by the Meng family ancestor. But if Luo Xiao did not return to the main house for more than three days, Meng Yang Yang will go to his office, and he must grind until he is willing to eat with him or return to the main house together. According to what he understood in his dream, Meng Yang knew that Luo Xiao's setting was a workaholic, working non-stop to make money, and had reached the level of being addicted to work. He could obviously rest. He must find something to do, and then continue to expand his industry. Only when the headache is very severe, he will stop to rest. It is precisely because of this that his headache will become more and more serious. In addition to work addiction and headache, Luo Xiao also has some other personalities formed by setting. Meng Yang will slowly change him. In this life, they will be happy. Wu Feng, Meng Yang's brother, and they are following Yu Junqian's brother, in the lobby of the ancient style hotel Wen Yuan, which is very famous in the city, because of the vacant courtyard, they did not give in to each other, and even quarreled. The people on both sides of them had originally looked down on each other. When they were in school, they sneered at each other when they met each other. Now that they happen to meet outside, they naturally want to fight for the end. Yu Junqian had come here to eat with Luo Xing before. Luo Sheng told him that when Yuan was originally invested and played by his father with a few friends. The better the business, the better it became. 2. Wu Feng's boyfriend Qin Hong, his father is a member of this restaurant, and Yu Junqian's brother Wen Yuan, his father is also a member here, but now there is only one vacant small courtyard, they came at the same time, they also don't give in to each other, so the service staff here is very embarrassed. Yu Junqin thought that since Luo Xing's father was one of the bosses here, the manager would definitely give Luo Xing a face, so he called and called Luo Xing. But when Luo Xing came, when Yuan was not happy again, so he deliberately said to Luo Xing, then what a small courtyard is. If Luo Xing really had the ability, he took them into Liuxiang Yuan. Luo Xing showed him to Wen Yuan. Hostility and contempt are inexplicable, but he is an extremely face-loving and arrogant person. Even if he knows that when Yuan has deliberately irritated him, he has to show it to him. The manager said to Luo Sheng, Master Luo, I'm so sorry, I really have no right to let you in this Luxianjuan. When Yuan knew that the manager would say so, and sneered at Luo Sheng deliberately. Luo Sheng looked at the manager unpleasantly and said, Did my father say the same when he came? Or did you want my father to call you since you were willing to let us enter Liu Xiang? This. Manager Su hesitated and said, If it is Luo Dong's personal command, it will naturally let you in. Dot of course, Luo Xing couldn't call Luo Xiao because of such a small thing, he had no confidence in front of him. Just when Luo Xing thought to say something more serious for the manager to agree, Luo Xiao and Meng Yang came in from outside the gate. Luo Dong. Manager Su seemed to see a savior and walked quickly to meet Luo Xiao. Luo Dong, Master Luo and his friends happen to be here too, you see, they will also be arranged to look Xianjuan. Luo Xiao frowned slightly, and Manager Su immediately understood what he meant, and then immediately asked the service staff to prepare, not to mention anything that would let Luo Xing enter the Liuxiang courtyard. Seeing Luo Xiao approaching, the people on both sides automatically withdrew automatically and gave way to the middle. Meng Yang turned to look at Wu Feng and stopped. He asked, Brother, you are here for dinner. Why didn't you go in? 
The manager immediately explained the situation to Meng Yang. It turns out that way. Meng Yang looked at Luo Xiao and asked, Uncle Luo, can my brother let them go to Luxianjuan for dinner? Luo Xiao nodded. Liu Xiang is Wen Yuan's largest courtyard. Of course, there is more than one room. When the manager saw Luo Xiao nod, he immediately asked people to prepare again. Come on, brother. Meng Yang said to Wen Yuan. Do you come here often? Wu Feng asked Meng Yang. If you have time, you will come occasionally. Meng Yang replied. While they said this, they walked in, and Luo Sheng was ignored, and his face became extremely ugly. When Yuan thought Luo Xiao was here, and manager Su would definitely let them in because of Luo Xiao's orders. After all, Luo Sheng was Luo Xiao's relative son. He didn't expect Luo Xiao to ignore Luo Xing at all, so he went in, and Meng Yang also brought Wu Feng into them. This time no one was arguing with them about the yard that was finally vacated, but Luo Sheng was completely out of the mood to eat and turned away with anger. Yu Junqin didn't know what to do for a while, he wanted to catch up with Luo Sheng, but it was not good to leave these brothers to leave by himself. After hesitating for a while, Yu Junqin did not go after Luo Sheng, but stayed down. When Yuan's mood is a bit complicated. He doesn't know whether he should be happy for Luo Sheng's embarrassment, or should he be unhappy because Wu Feng won them. Meng Yang and Luo Xiao sat cross-legged by the low window. A small stream outside the window, although it was an artificial stream, was designed to be very natural, and it looked very artistic and aesthetic. There were still some petals and flowers floating in the water. The sound is very pleasant, and the water still emits a light fragrance. My elective course for sports, I chose equestrian class, but I have never learned riding, I want to practice before starting the class, can you teach me? Meng Yang looked at Luo Xiao and said. Got it. I'll take you to choose a suitable horse tomorrow. You can also use it in class. Luo Xiao said. Thank you, Uncle Luo. Meng Yang got up and walked to Luo Xiao's side, then hugged Luo Xiao's shoulder to express his gratitude. Luo Xiao patted Meng Yang on the back. He thought Meng Yang would release it immediately, but Meng Yang hugged him tightly without letting go. What's wrong? Although Luo Xiao didn't see Meng Yang's face, he still felt that his emotions seemed a bit wrong. Meng Yang loosened Luo Xiao, sat down with his legs down, lowered his eyes and said, After my mother died, apart from Yun Jing sincerely treating me as a friend, no one has been sincerely kind to me in recent years, although I am very it's clear that you, V been accommodating me because I saved you, but I couldn't help but touched it. Luo Xiao stroked Meng Yang's hair and said, I thank you for saving me and being kind to you. Just like I believe you are really good for me and I always wanted me to rest, you can also believe that I am sincerely good to you. But it is still very important to distinguish your feelings. I do and want you to regret it later. Luo Xiao was usually so busy, but he immediately agreed to teach Meng Yang to learn horse riding personally, so Meng Yang was really touched, but Luo Xiao obviously thought he was not in love with him, although Meng Yang expected medium but he was still slightly lost. Luo Xiao felt that he was very fortunate with Meng Yang. Although he never felt lonely before meeting Meng Yang, he thought it would be nice to have someone to accompany him after Meng Yang came to him. Yes, and he seems to have a protective desire for Meng Yang. Chapter 23 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Second. Hand married wife of a wealthy old man 23 The next day, Luo Xiao took Meng Yang to Xishan Racecourse to practice horse riding. The horse farm manager knew that Luo Xiao was coming, and after selecting horses for Meng Yang, he immediately made people ready to let the trainers pull out the best horses to wait for selection. After Luo Xiao and Meng Yang arrived at the horse farm, the manager greeted them with respect. Luo Xiao and Meng Yang put on equestrian clothing and riding boots. The manager personally drove the tour bus to take them to select horses. The sun is very bright today, but it is still very comfortable with the breeze blowing. 
Meng Yang took off his sunglasses and looked around. A whole piece of green grass and racetrack could not be seen at the end of the Buddha. The horse trainers have been waiting for the horses they are responsible for. When they know that Luo Xiao is going to choose to buy the horses, they are very excited, because if one of them, if they can continue if you take care of and train the horses that Luo Xiao buys, they will be able to live a very prosperous life for at least a few years in the future. In their own words, it is the people who rely on horses to be expensive. Our school's equestrian class seems to be conducted in this horse farm. Meng Yang said to Luo Xiao. Luo Xiao nodded. The equestrian class at Sanya University has always been in charge of our horse farm, and training and teaching are conducted in the B5 area. The manager said with a smile. After arriving in the VIP area, the manager first got off the car and helped Meng Yang to open the door. After Meng Yang and Luo Xiu got off the bus, they first walked to the rest stand with an awning and sat down. The service staff had prepared tea and fruits dim sum, and stood on one side waiting for orders at any time, while Luo Xiao's bodyguards and assistants stood on the other side. Soon a few horse trainers ran over on horses. When the horses were lined up and stood, the manager walked to Luo Xiao and said. Luo Dong, these horses are not only of excellent breed, but also of beautiful appearance and color, the most important thing is that they are docile, and even beginners can manage it well. Let's take a look. Luo Xiao said to Meng Yang. Okay. Meng Yang nodded and got up and walked to the horses that had been lined up. Meng Yang doesn't really know what kind of horse is a good horse, but he knows that the ones that can be sent to Luo Xiao are definitely good and expensive horses. Even if he doesn't understand horses, he thinks these horses are all good. Very beautiful. Meng Yang's last life was an assault course, and he had practiced for many years since he was a child. In this life, he wanted to change to something he hadn't learned in his last life, so he chose an equestrian class that he thought was useless. At a glance, Meng Yang took a fancy to the horse glowing with golden light in the sun, and then walked directly towards it. Can you touch it? Meng Yang asked the trainer. Yes. The trainer replied. Meng Yang stroked the hair on the horse's neck and smiled. Do you like this horse? Luo Xiu walked behind Meng Yang and said. It's beautiful. Meng Yang doesn't know what kind of horse is better, so he chose it completely according to his appearance. Master Meng is really good. Looking. There are not many such golden snow horses in the world. It was our horse farm that took a lot of effort to bid abroad. This kind of horse has a gentle personality and is light and elegant when running. And it is also very smart and easy to control, very suitable for beginners to learn equestrian training. Such a good horse must be expensive. Meng Yang said. It is indeed more expensive than Luo Dong's horse. After all, things are rare. This kind of horse is more difficult to breed, so it has its expensive reason and value. Meng Yang began to calculate in his mind whether it was a good deal to buy this horse. After all, it was good. Looking and good. Looking, but it was worth buying. How much time can he spend on horseback riding? Run a lap first and try it out. If you like it, buy it and take it home to raise it. Luo Xiao said. Is it really possible to bring it back to raise? Meng Yang said, looking at Luo Xiao, he began to look forward to it. The main house has a place to raise, usually let it sunbathe on the lawn, and send it to the horse farm for inspection and training every once in a while. Can you bring back the horse you bought before? Then it will be with me. When I'm not riding, it won't be alone. Meng Yang said with a smile, then stroked from top to bottom horse face. The manager's heart immediately became happy, because Meng Yang's words almost already meant that Luo Xiao had to buy the horse. The most expensive horse on the racecourse was sold to Luo Xiao much better than others, because Luo Xiao always sold generous, the cost of caring for this horse later is not a small sum. Luo Xiao helped Meng Yang to mount the horse, and he also mounted himself to sit behind Meng Yang, then turned the horse's head, 
let the horse trot, and then slowly speed up. Meng Yang felt this brisk running sensation, and his mood became involuntarily happy. This free feeling of jumping and flying in the wind was really interesting and had a different taste than driving. He seems to understand why in the modern society with advanced technology, there are still so many rich people who like to ride horses. He used to think that riding a horse would be bumpy and uncomfortable, and it was still smoother and more comfortable to drive, but now it seems that it should still have a lot to do with the horse he is riding. Meng Yang leaned on Luo Xiu's broad and sturdy chest and felt very secure. He also enjoyed this pleasant feeling. After riding a horse and running around, they returned to the place where they had originally started. After Luo Xiu dismounted, he looked at Meng Yang and asked, Would you like to try another horse? No need. Meng Yang said with a smile. Let's take it home. Biu of Luo Xiu looked at Meng Yang's happy smile and his mood was better. Although he likes to make money and enjoys the fun of making money, the main reason for making money is to make himself stronger, so he keeps going. Earn more money. It's just that for so many years, although he also spent a lot of money, it seems that he has never been really happy because of the money. But today, from Meng Yang's smile, he felt the joy of spending money. The manager took the purchase contract and the electronic contract from the assistant's hand, and then held both hands in front of Luo Xiu. After seeing Luo Xiu's signature, he was in a good mood. He had decided to go home and celebrate with his wife and children. The manager raised his hands to the trainers, and the other horses that were not selected, the trainer could only ride away with disappointment. Luo Xiu began to teach Meng Yang to learn horse riding. After Meng Yang was reborn, his mind became better and he learned things very fast, but he didn't know how to learn immediately, so Luo Xiu would sit behind him for a longer time and hug he. Luo Xiu bowed his head from time to time, telling Meng Yang how to maintain balance while the horse was running, how to understand and control the state of the horse, the two bodies were tightly attached to each other, when Meng Yang was about to deviate from the body due to shaking, Luo Xiu would use one arm to hug his waist. When Luo Xiu took Meng Yang off the horse and rested, Meng Yang raised his arms around Luo Xiu's neck and kissed his feet on his face. Then he said happily, Thank you, Uncle Luo, I am very happy today. Luo Xiu touched Meng Yang's hair and looked at Meng Yang's smile, he also felt very happy. When Meng Yang and Luo Xiu returned to the main house, he also took the horse back. He had decided to call the horse Linyang, which means cold sunshine. After taking Linyang back to the main house, when Meng Yang made Luo Xiu free, he taught him to practice horse riding on the lawn outside the main house. After learning, he wandered around Longling Mountain. It feels particularly good to run in the woods. Sometimes Meng Yang will ride his horse to the beach below the back mountain to blow the sea breeze. The school's equestrian class is about to start. The equestrian classes of Xiang College and Business School are the same. This is the only class that Luo Sheng and Yu Junchen can take together, so they also chose equestrian classes. Although the horse farm will help the students in the equestrian class to prepare the horses for practice, but if you have your own horse on the horse farm, you can also use your own horse to practice, and some students only have their own horses on the horse farm. Choose to take the equestrian class. Yu Junchen didn't have his own horse on the horse farm, but Luo Sheng bought a horse for him and told Yu Junchen that he would love it when he saw him. After arriving at the horse farm, all the students put on their equestrian uniforms and took the tour bus. The business school and the Hong Kong Academy practiced equestrian sports adjacent to each other. The students got off the coach and walked to the stand in the rest area. The coach came over and asked the students who did not own their horses to raise their hands. After confirming the number, the headset was used to notify the trainers to ride the horses. While waiting for the horses to come, the students chatted. Meng Yang and Yu Junchen were in the college, and they belonged to people who wanted to have a relationship, because they were married to Luo Xiu, one was engaged to Luo Sheng, one was a student of Master Lin Songtai, and one was a student of Master Su Wangyao. Jun Chen, do you also use your own horse? What breed is your horse? 
It was the horse that Luo Xing gave me, and I haven't seen it myself. He only said that I would like it. Yu Junchen said with a smile. This kind of semi-dot-surprise feeling is quite romantic, even I look forward to it. When I came to practice horsemanship, I saw Luo Sheng's maroon horse, which was very tall and handsome. Will Luo Sheng come over to teach you how to ride a horse? He said that free practice time will come. Yu Junchen replied, he also looked forward to it. While fiancé teaches personally, the romance is doubled, I really feel envious when I think about it. Come on, come on. Look, the horse that ran to the front is my horse. The students' own horses arrived first, and then someone said, Jun Chen, hurry and guess which one was sent to you by Luo Sheng, and see if you are in good communication. Yu Jun Chen looked at the horses carefully and guessed. He first guessed according to his love for those horses. Everyone seriously looked at the horses that were running, with excited expressions in their eyes. Among the black, white, maroon, and brown horses, a light golden horse with a soft light suddenly appeared immediately attracted everyone's attention. Did I have hallucinations? There is a light dot gold horse. Can I see it alone, or can you all see it? I saw it too. What a beautiful horse. Isn't that the Pegasus that appeared in the Western fantasy movie? I know that horse. There are only 20 to 30 horses in the world. Is it super expensive? Was it actually bought? I also saw the horse when I came with my father. The manager of the racecourse said that they spent a lot of effort to send them to bid abroad. My father also said that no one would buy it in a short time, because the lighted, s especially expensive to raise this horse. Wouldn't that be the horse Luo Sheng gave Jun Chen? Yu Jun Chen opened his eyes wide and looked at the beautiful and disturbing horse. Hearing that the person next to him said that it was Luo Sheng's horse, he was very surprised. Although he did not understand the horse, he listened to the classmates. Has described the value of this horse. It's really worthy of Master Luo's family, this shot is too generous. After the horses lined up and stood, the students suppressed their urge to rush over, and looked at the impulse of the light golden horse at a closer distance, because so many of them, if they ran over at the same time, would make those horses startle so I can only wait for the coach to roll over and claim my horses one by one. And Yu Junchen looked at the light golden horse, looking forward to it with his heart, already imagining what it would feel like to ride it in his mind. The author has something to say. The day after tomorrow, Sunday, May 26th, so there is no update at 6 p.m. tomorrow. After the clock turns at night, that is, at 0.30, there will be a 4D update. In the past few days before the clip, it was updated at 0.330, and after the clip was resumed, it was updated at 6 p.m. Although there are not many manuscripts saved, I will work hard to keep it up to date, and I will also ask you to support a lot of genuine ones. Here I would like to thank everyone who has read them. Collection of New Wen Qiu in Advance. Villains Pampering, Rebirth, by Yueguang Su Shuang's Life, Quick Wear, Ignored the Heir of a Wealthy Man, Wearing a Book, The Name and Copy of the Pre that Received Text May Be Revised Afterwards. Completed Article. Supporting Aura, Wearing Books, Open Hanging Love System, Quick Wear, Counterattack Counterattack, Quick Wear, Canon Ash Cheating System, Quick Wear. Chapter 24 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Rich married old man's second wife 24 The coach started to call the rolls and asked the students who named them to claim their horses. The students named in front of me all walked quickly to their horses, stroking the hair on their necks happily, because after school, besides the time of equestrian classes, it is difficult to have free time often. Look at them. Fifth horse, classmate Yu Junchen. The coach cried while looking at the roster on the tablet. Yu Junchen, who is suppressing excitement and excitement, suddenly froze for a moment, because the fifth horse is a white horse. Although this white horse is also very beautiful, the feeling of anticipation suddenly fell through, making him a little bit the reaction cannot come. Fifth horse, classmate Yu Junchen. 
The coach saw Yu Junchen froze, thinking he did not hear clearly, so he called again. Just now I thought that the light dot gold horse, the classmate that Luo Xing gave to Yu Junchen, was stunned. Then I became more puzzled and curious. Yu Junchen walked straight towards the white horse, but his eyes kept looking at the light golden horse beside him. His mood, as if it was his own thing, was suddenly taken away by others, which was both uncomfortable and unwilling. The horse stood in the middle of all the horses. It really looked like a standing flock of chickens. Under its contrast, other horses that looked very beautiful on their own looked very ordinary. The sixth horse, Meng Yang. Meng Yang walked towards his horse, and all the classmates' eyes were focused on him, because the people beside Yu Junchen had been talking about Luo Xing sending a horse to Yu Junchen. Didn't think of it, Meng Yang was the man who married the chairman of the Luo group. How could Luo Xing be richer than his father? Yu Junchen's face was not very good and he lowered his head. He felt that he was so embarrassed just now, and he was a little angry. When those people said those words, why didn't Meng Yang say that it was his horse? Yang deliberately embarrassed him. After all the students with their own horses are mounted, under the guidance of the horse trainer, slowly ride the horse into the horse farm to start practicing. Other students who do not have their own horses are more, so they see ant all be crowded together, provided by the horse farm the horse used for practice has come here, but everyone's eyes are still focused on Meng Yang's horse, as if it was a suspended picture. Yu Junchen couldn't ride a horse yet, so the horse trainer helped him lead the horse rope into the horse farm, and his eyes kept looking at the horse that Meng Yang was riding. He did not have much interest in equestrian classes before, but he was not good at thinking about other elective courses in sports. He could also join Luo Sheng when he went to equestrian, so he chose equestrian classes. There is no interest in equestrian classes, and I have to admit that the horse that Meng Yang rode is very attractive to anyone. Its appearance alone makes people want to own it. After all the students are ready, students with and without horse riding experience will practice under the guidance of horse trainers and coaches. Students with horse riding experience have more free practice time, and Yu Junchen, who has no horse riding experience at all, can only jog slowly at most. Dot the coach determined that Meng Yang was riding well and allowed him to run freely. Meng Yang felt like going for a lap first, and then under the watch of everyone, riding a horse and running away in the distance. It's so beautiful, it's like a horse coming out of a fairy tale. For the first time, I feel an elegant feeling from a horse. This really expensive scary man who can buy this horse can only be said that he is indeed the chairman of the Luo group. Although it is expensive and scary, we can't feel what it would be like to have such a horse. I have always felt that our family is considered rich, but I still can't help but want to sigh, the more money, the better. Yu Junchenki immediately bowed his head to listen to their discussion, and could not tell what was in his heart. The horse that Luo Sheng sent him also looked very good, and it was Luo Sheng's intention to him. He felt that his mind was more important than anything, but now he didn't know why, and he didn't feel very happy. The business school also began to practice freely. Luo Xing rode a horse to find Yu Junchen. He saw Yu Junchen sitting in a daze and called out, Jun Chen. Yu Junchen only recovered, and looked up at him. Luo Sheng. Do you like the horse I sent you? Luo Sheng asked with a smile as he looked at Yu Junchen. Hi. I like it. Yu Junchen also smiled at him and said, Thank you. What's wrong with you? Are you uncomfortable? Luo Xing saw that Yu Junchen's expression was not right. Although there was a smile on the corner of his mouth, there was no smile in his eyes. No, the first time I learned to ride a horse, I was a little unaccustomed. Yu Junchen quickly explained. It's normal to be afraid of riding for the first time, let me teach you. Luo Xing said. Good. Yu Junchen nodded. Luo Xing went down from his own horse, then got on Yu Junchen's horse and sat behind Yu Junchen. Luo Xing's friends also came over. When they saw Luo Xing sitting behind Yu Junchen, they all made a sound of coaxing and making fun. 
At this time, Meng Yang returned on his horse, once again attracting everyone's attention, Luo Sheng and his friends were stunned after seeing it. The blue sky and white clouds, the sunny weather, the green grass that can't see the end at a glance, a horse shining with a soft light golden light under the sunshine, is running elegantly and briskly from a distance. All the students looked at this beautiful picture like the special effects of the movie. Between such a vast and clear blue sky and green land, one person and one horse was like running from the clouds in the sky to the ground, because it was too beautiful the real picture. After running to the place where he had just set off, Meng Yang tightened the horse rope and stopped the horse slowly. Lu Yunjing happened to be riding a horse from the practice area next to him. After seeing Meng Yangqi's horse, he froze for a while, and then walked towards him. This is your horse. Lu Yunjing looked at the horse riding on Meng Yang in surprise and asked, Did Luo Dong buy it for you? Ha! Huh. Meng Yang nodded with a smile. How many villas is this horse worth, and the villa is real estate, at least it can add value, but if this horse is older. The Luo family has no shortage of villas. I don't have time to live in any more villas. Meng Yang said. But keeping this horse in the main house, I can ride it as long as I have time. Let it bask in the sun on the lawn as a landscape, and it would be nice to look and raise your eyes. That's also true. Anyway, Luo Dong has money. As long as the money is happy, it's not a waste. It's interesting to ride a horse on Longling Mountain. Crossing the woods across the stream and riding horses on the grass has a different taste. Come next time. Okay, when I have free time, I will definitely go there frequently. Lu Jingyu glanced at his horse and said, But my horse is in contrast to your horse, and I can't even watch it as a foil, no. I'm going to choose a more beautiful horse in a few days. Luo Sheng kept looking at Meng Yang's horses, and his friend said to him, Luo Sheng, that horse must have been bought by your father, and Meng Yang couldn't have bought it. Luo Sheng had seen the horse before and knew the price of the horse. He did not expect that Meng Yang would actually ride the horse. He also knew that Meng Yang must not have had so much money to buy the horse, so it must have been bought by his father. Luo Sheng, although that guy is married to your father, but you are your father's only son, your father's things should be yours. That's right, how can a father and son's blood relationship be comparable to a wedding letter? Since it is a horse bought by your father, you are more qualified to use it than that Meng Yang. Listening to their words, Luo Xing felt even worse, and his face was even more ugly. Meng Yang saw Luo Xing looking at him while they were talking, and already guessed what they were talking about. Meng Yang knew very well that although the Qing family had a competitive relationship with the Luo group, but for Luo Sheng's succession to the Luo family, Mr. Cheng's plan was a longer dot term and more stable plan. In the past, Luo Xiao was comatose for a period of time because of the car accident. After waking up, he could not manage the company for a year or two. A lot of things happened in the middle. When Luo Xiao could regain control of the company, the situation changed a lot. This time Luo Xiao did not have an accident, and Meng Yang will never let Luo Sheng and Qing Jia get Luo Xiao's property, and what he has to do now is to further intensify the conflict between him and Luo Sheng. Indifferently, as soon as the Qing family shot, Luo Xiao shot, so Luo Xiao would be more guarded against the Qing family and would speed up revenge against the Qing family. Meng Yang rode the horse in front of Luo Sheng and Yu Junqin, looked at Luo Sheng and said, Are you talking about this horse? This horse is a gift from your father and is in my name, completely it belongs to me, but you seem to have any opinions. It's a lot of fun to spend our Luo family's money. Are you really shameless enough? Luo Xing mocked with anger. If you have any words, just tell your father and tell me these are useless. Meng Yang looked at him with a mocking smile and said, The more you want to humiliate me, the more you prove that you can only after being addicted, you can't treat me at all. If you really have the ability, let your father divorce me, or let him ignore me, at least let him not be so good to me. It's a pity, you see and do it either, because in your father's heart, 
you are not important at all. Luo Sheng was completely irritated by Meng Yang's words, and then raised the horsewhip in his hand and pulled it hard against Meng Yang. Meng Yang responded immediately and used the horse rope to control the horse to avoid, but failed to avoid it completely. But he hit his horse, and Meng Yang's horse screamed and ran a few steps. Meng Yang. Lu Yunjing screamed in panic. The coach noticed that something was wrong here, and ran immediately to let the trainer separate the two horses farther, and did not allow the students to jump into each other again. Before students get into trouble, try to stop them anyway. After Luo Xin got on his horse, he glared fiercely at Meng Yang and said, Wait for me. I will never let you go. Then you better not just say nothing, I'll wait to see how you can treat me. After Meng Yang finished, stroking where his horse was drawn by the whip, I said sorry to it in my heart. Meng Yang, are you okay? Lu Yunjing asked Meng Yang worriedly. Meng Yang shook his head. He is Luo Dong's son, after all. You and Luo Dong just got married shortly, or stay away from him temporarily. Lu Yunjing persuaded. Meng Yang thought that this level was not enough. He must create greater contradictions. The author has something to say. I'm nervous when I get into V. Chapter 25 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Second. Hand married wife of noble old man 25 What happened on the horse farm made Luo Xing feel very angry, but Meng Yang felt that this level was far from enough. So Luo Xing was once again contested by Xiao Ku, and he immediately agreed. He still remembered the matter of racing with Xiao Ku again, and wanted to recover the face he lost to Xiao Ku last time. Before approaching the start time of the car, the racetrack was already very lively. The news that Xiao Ku won Luo Xing last time spread, which caused a lot of discussion, so the people who came to see their car this time were more than last time. More. I haven't seen Xiao Dao racing with other people during this time. Has his car skills really improved as you said? If you saw the process of the two of them last time, you wouldn't ask that, anyway, I bought Xiao Ku this time and won. But without seeing it with my own eyes, I still have a hard time believing. After all, Xiao Ku lost to Luo Xing so many times before. Maybe he won because of good luck last time. For insurance reasons, I still bought Luo Xing to win. I heard that Xiao Ku hired a very powerful coach. During this time, I did not race with other people because I hid and practiced my car skills. As long as I can play normally like last time, I think there is no problem. Luo Xing's car arrived first, and Xiao Ku's car soon arrived. Xiao Ku parked the car in front of the grandstand and opened the door to get off. Young Master Luo Xiao Ku walked to Luo Xing's car and patted the front of his car. The new car looks good. I want your car. You just won by chance and forgot the fact that you lost so many times before. You are not afraid to flash your tongue when you talk big. Luo Xing said with a cold face. Xiao Ku smiled and said. It's really meaningless to talk fast. It's really boring to use a car every time. It's really boring. It's not as good as this time. How about we bet something else? What do you want to gamble? Luo Xing asked, looking at him. Whoever loses, please invite everyone here to drink. If our team loses, I will give everyone who buys you in a toast, and bow down and apologize that I should not provoke you uncontrollably. If it is if you lose, you have to give everyone who bought our team to win a toast, and then bow and apologize that you should not be too arrogant, how? The people in the stands next to me heard Xiao Ku's words. You see me and I see you. I feel that Xiao Ku is a bit too gambling. For their rich children, money is a trivial matter, and face is a big deal. At least half of them bowed and apologized, so what other face did Luo Xing come out to meet? Luo Xing couldn't help hesitating even if he had the confidence and control to win Xiao Ku. Why? Dao Luo dare not gamble. Xiao Ku continued to provoke. I have lost so many times before, and I have fulfilled the conditions you mentioned, 
but you only lost me once, and you dare not agree to my proposal. Is the condition of the original. Was Luo Dashao so timid? Since that is the case, then in order to take care of Luo Dashao's small heart, do not bet on such a big one. If anyone wins, choose one of these people who by their own when people come out, the losers apologize three times according to what they just said, so is it okay? Luo Sheng remained silent. Don't you dare to gamble. Did Luo Daoshao's courage so small? Then there was no need for this car. Xiao Ku said to the people in the stands. Everyone is gone. Master Luo. I'm timid, I'm afraid I will lose, and I can't afford to lose. I dare not compare. The people in the stands began to whisper. Facing Xiao Ku's public provocation, Luo Xing's face became more and more ugly, and his anger became heavier and heavier. If he did not vent his anger, he would be more uncomfortable, so he agreed with Xiao Ku's gambling agreement. Both drove the car to the starting point, Meng Yang who had been hiding in the car, got up from the back seat and stepped on the seat, and then after the car stopped, the two quickly exchanged positions. What Xiao Ku said just now was that Meng Yang told him to say so. Didn't Luo Xin like to humiliate him in public? While intensifying the contradiction, he should also let him feel the humiliation of being in public. During this time, Xiao Ku was practicing his car skills. In order not to expose Meng Yang to replace his car, he even practiced hiding in practice and agreed with Meng Yang that he could win by his own car skills. Before Luo Sheng, he stopped racing with others. Meng Yang also tried his best to teach him the car skills he learned in his previous life. Those who watched the game, looking at the process of chasing and chasing two cars on the big screen, felt very exciting. Xiao Ku's heart is really strong enough. He dared to use such a dangerous method. In case of a collision without control, it must be seriously injured. Although it's dangerous, but it works, isn't it immediately pulling away the distance? It's thrilling just to look at it. This is how confident I am with my car skills to dare to drive like this. Dai Xiaoxiao's car skills are really fast, even if he goes to race with professional drivers, maybe he can win. Yeah, it's a pity not to participate in large dot scale competitions with such a car skill. Meng Yang's attention is in a state of high concentration. Now in his brain, this car is his body, but it is not an easy task to make his body flexible and agile and fast. Now every seemingly easy and simple technique is a testament to the numerous practices and hardships of his previous life. Every time Meng Yang's cool car skills show, the people who watched couldn't help but amazed and cheered, even those who bought Luo Xingying started to cheer him, this is what racing enthusiasts are for the strong admiration and admiration. This time Meng Yang did not intend to let Luo Xing roll over, so the distance between the two people became farther and farther. Luo Xing saw that he could no longer catch up with the car in front, and his mentality collapsed and his concentration could not be concentrated. The chaotic law almost hit the boulder. After emergency braking, he thumped the steering wheel hard to vent, and his heart burst. Meng Yang drove the car to the end and quickly exchanged positions with Xiao Ku again. You are really amazing. Xiao Ku couldn't help but sigh. One more person's weight, and you can throw Luo Xing so far away. You have such a powerful car skills, why don't you want others to know? See those are you cheering. They are all so excited because they admire your car skills. Is it not a good thing to be admired and admired? Meng Yang did not answer him in silence, maybe one day in the future, he might show his car skills in public, but definitely not now, because there are too many old dot fashion people in the academia, and he see and let him have some achievements your own image becomes the reason for controversy. Xiao Ku got off the bus and waited for Luo Sheng to drive the car. The crowd in the stands was excited and cheered towards him, which made him feel particularly good. Although he was not Luo Sheng who won by himself, he should not be proud, but as long as he can to make Luo Sheng unhappy is the thing he feels most happy about. And sooner or later, he will win over him with his car skills. 
Luo Xing held the steering wheel tightly with both hands, and took a deep breath to force down the anger caused by unwillingness. Then he opened the car door and walked toward Xiao Ku. If he lost, he lost. Anyway, he had to face it personally. You remember, this time, it is still you who won our team. Xiao Ku looked at Luo Sheng and turned around and said aloud to the people in the stands. Today, Luo Dao invited everyone to drink, everyone is happy. Drink more. The people in the stands cheered again, only Luo Sheng's friends did not coax together. Let's go, Luo Xiao. Xiao Ku said and turned to get on. Luo Xing clenched his fists and then turned into the car. For decades, the cars followed behind Xiao Ku's car and drove to a certain bar in the city. Most people have the instinct to watch the bustle. Such a rare opportunity to see Master Luo's ugliness and disgrace, how do they can you miss this opportunity? After everyone arrived at the bar, Xiao Ku made a lot of wine and asked aloud. Who just bought our team to win? Someone who wants to be toasted by Luo Sheng can now stand up. Dozens of people look at me and I look at you, but no one stands up. Of those who bought Xiao Qing, no one dared to stand up to publicly offend Luo Sheng, mainly because they have no injustice with Luo Sheng, there is really no necessity to offend him. Xiao Ku also greeted his friends and told them not to stand up. I bought Xiao Xiaoying, why not let me accept Luo Xiao's toast and apology? Everyone looked at the source of the sound, wanting to see who had the courage to offend Luo Xing so boldly, the crowd automatically gave way, Meng Yang walked from behind the crowd to the middle, and Lu Yunjing followed behind him. Yo, this is not Luo Xiao's front. Oh no, it should be Luo Xiao's dad. Xiao Ku pretended not to know how Meng Yang would come and said with a smile. You want to accept Luo Xiao's toast and apology. I was at the racing circuit, and I bought your team to win. According to the agreement between you, I think I am qualified to accept his toast and apology as a representative. Meng Yang took out his mobile phone and showed it to Xiao Ku and others for a moment, he did buy Xiao Ku's team to win. It's getting more and more interesting. Since everyone else is unwilling, then you come. Xiao Ku looked at Luo Sheng and said. Luo Xiao is a person willing to gamble and lose. I don't think he would mind the toast who's, right, Xiao Luo. From the moment Luo Xing saw Meng Yang's appearance, his face became even more ugly. The two people he hated most were now uniting to humiliate him, and still in front of so many people, he absolutely can't make them wish. Come, I'll pour Luo Xiao's wine. Xiao Ku said loudly, poured Luo Cheng a full glass of wine, and then handed him in front of him. Please, Luo Xiao. Luo Sheng took the glass of wine in Xiao Ku's hands, and then looked at Meng Yang with a vicious look. Meng Yang also looked at Luo Sheng with a sneering expression. The anger in Luo Sheng's heart had erupted like a volcano. He slammed the wine glass to the ground and walked towards Meng Yang. Luo Xiao, Xiao Ku stretched out his hand on Luo Sheng's shoulder and looked at him and asked, what are you doing? Can't you lose? Don't forget, this is the gambling agreement you agreed to, if you break the contract, you will be looked down upon by others, who will be willing to play against you in the future. Luo Xing grabbed the clothes on Xiao Ku's chest and said fiercely. Don't worry, it's your turn soon. Luo Xing intends to teach Meng Yang and Xiao Ku in the order from weak to strong. He pushes Xiao Ku away, and then continues to walk towards Meng Yang, raising his fists and striking Meng Yang's face with all his strength. At the moment Luo Sheng's fist waved towards Meng Yang, all the lights suddenly went out, and then the screams of girls, the shattering of wine bottles and wine glasses, and the shouts of dissatisfaction pushing each other, the bar was in chaos among. After being punched by Luo Sheng, Meng Yang kicked Luo Sheng's stomach. Luo Xing knelt unconsciously on the ground. In complete darkness, Meng Yang had an absolute advantage. Meng Yang grabbed Luo Sheng's hair and kicked at him. Xiao Ku moved his hands and feet on the circuit and monitoring, so Meng Yang could be assured of beating Luo Sheng first. 
Luo Xing yelled because of the severe pain, and then stood up to fight back with all his strength. He was completely invisible in the dark, but at the fastest speed, he reached out and grabbed the person in front of him and wrestled. Dot the security guard of the bar shouted loudly outside to calm them down and sounded the alarm, but the crowd was still in chaos and the light suddenly turned on again. Under the circumstances of being able to see, let those who were panicked in the dark moment immediately feel much relieved and calm down a lot, and then they saw Luo Sheng and Xiao Ku are wrestling together, their friends immediately went to help, then it became a group of people wrestling together, and the tall security guards had crowded into the crowd, immediately separating the group of people wrestling together. Meng Yang, Meng Yang. Lu Yunjing screamed with his acting skills, crouching on the ground and embracing Meng Yang. Are you okay? A bodyguard squatted down to lift Meng Yang. Others noticed that Meng Yang was falling to the ground, and there was no response, as if she had fainted. Luo Jiaoji had a video conference with people from foreign companies in his office. The phone on the desk suddenly rang. He glanced at it and connected it. Dong Luo, I just received a call from a bar manager and said that it was Master Yang and Master Meng Yang fighting in the bar. Master Meng Yang was knocked out by Master Master and has now been sent to the hospital. Luo Xiu stood up violently and quickly walked out. In a high dot end bar in the city, the rich children gathered to fight, the scene was chaotic, and even several people were injured. Even the police were dispatched, the bar was surrounded, the injured were sent to the hospital, and the media reporters were all caught up with the news. Come, but there are too many wealthy children involved in this matter, so it must not be reported, and the matter will soon be suppressed. After Luo Xiu got out of the hospital, he quickly walked into the hospital building, and then took the elevator to reach the floor where Meng Yang was. Yu Junchen arrived first because he was near. He was standing at the door of Luo Sheng's ward. When he was about to push the door in, he suddenly turned his head subconsciously, and then he saw Luo Jiao walked over with others. He shouted. Uncle Luo, Luo Sheng he is. Before Yu Junchen's words were finished, Luo Xiu had taken people past him, and he didn't even give him extra eyes. Yu Junchen froze for a moment, and then saw Luo Xiu walked into Meng Yang's ward, while the others were outside. Lu Yunjing saw Luo Xiu pushing the door in and immediately stood up and shouted. Luo Dong. Luo Xiu looked at Meng Yang who was lying on the bed and saw a large bruise on his mouth. After frowning, he looked at Lu Yunjing and said, go back first. Yes. Lu Yunjing was a little afraid of Luo Xiu. After giving Meng Yang a prudent look, he quickly left. Meng Yang looked at Luo Xiu and then whispered, Uncle Luo. Luo Xiu took a deep breath with his eyes closed, then walked to the bed and sat down. He looked at Meng Yang and asked, Is there any other pain? Luo Xiu knew Meng Yang's test results and physical condition on his way, he knew that Meng Yang was stepped on a few feet besides the injury of the corner of his mouth, and the scene at that time was too chaotic, and Meng Yang was dizzy. He fell to the ground, so he was uneasy to ask. Someone was stepped on a few feet, and it hurt a little, but there was no serious injury. Meng Yang was deliberately punched by Luo Sheng, and he also avoided part of Luo Sheng's strength, and Sheng was injured more than he was much heavier, and if he didn't hurt at all, it would be unreasonable. Does your head hurt? This is Luo Xiu's least worry. No head pain. Meng Yang looked at Luo Xiu and asked, Uncle Luo, are you angry? Why fight Luo Sheng? Luo Xiu looked at Meng Yang and asked. He whip me with a whip, and want to humiliate me, I am angry, so I deliberately trouble him, and want to humiliate him. Meng Yang said half dot truthfully. If you can beat him, just beat him and get out of breath, but you know you can't beat him, why don't you bring the bodyguard? Or come and tell me, I naturally have a way to help you out. Me, I will bring the bodyguard next time. Meng Yang grabbed Luo Xiu's hand and looked at him with coquettish eyes. Don't be angry, I promise I won't do that again. Luo Xiu looked at Meng Yang's eyes, and there was another helplessness in his heart. 
He was indeed a little angry that Meng Yang's recklessness hurt him, but looking at these eyes, he only had a feeling of helplessness in his heart that wanted to be angry but could not be angry. Luo Xiu called a doctor and asked Meng Yang again. He originally wanted Meng Yang to stay in the hospital for one night, but Meng Yang insisted on going back to sleep and did not want to stay in the hospital. Luo Xiu could only take him home. Luo Xiu asked people to take clean blankets, then wrapped Meng Yang with blankets, picked him up again, and took him out of the hospital. Yu Junchen had already seen Luo Xing's situation and had spoken to him. He knew that although he was badly injured, he was also suffering from skin injuries, so he was a little relieved. He originally wanted to see Meng Yang, but the people outside kept him from entering. He could only stand in the corridor outside and wait. He thought that Luo Xiu would definitely visit Luo Sheng, and after Luo Xiu came out, he could go in and express his concern to Meng Yang. Yu Junchen saw Luo Xiu coming out and was about to step forward to speak, but he saw Meng Yang held by Luo Xiu, and Meng Yang also saw him. The two looked at each other, and Luo Xiu held Meng Yang. So I walked in front of Yu Junchen again, as if I didn't see the existence of Yu Junchen. Uncle Luo, Meng Yang. Yu Junchen saw Luo Xiu walking through the door of Luo Xing's room, trying to catch up to prevent them from leaving, but was stopped by the bodyguard and stopped by the bodyguard's eyes, he dared not speak louder again. Called. Until those bodyguards also left, Yu Junchen was still standing there for a while, unable to recover, he thought to himself that Uncle Luo first went to see Meng Yang, but he did and even look at Luo Sheng just holding Meng Yang away, is it true that Luo Sheng's father, Luo Sheng's biological son, is not as important as Meng Yang? After Luo Xiu held Meng Yang on the train, Meng Yang shrunk in Luo Xiu's arms. Luo Xiu thought he was uneasy and hugged him again. After returning to the main house, Meng Yang went to take a shower himself. After coming out of the bathroom, he untied his nightgown and lay on his side to let Luo Xiu apply the medicine to the bruised place. Meng Yang's skin was white and tender, so these bruises were not serious, but they looked particularly conspicuous. Luo Xiu looked at these bruises and frowned. Meng Yang raised his hand to smooth his frowned eyebrows, looked at him and said, I don't hurt, really. Meng Yang wanted to pretend to be pitiful and make Luo Xiu more angry with Luo Sheng, but when he saw Luo Xiu's frowning, he couldn't say anything pitiful again. Luo Xiu looked at Meng Yang's eyes, and their eyes were intertwined. The next day, Luo Xiu and Xiao Ku's father met, and the two talked for more than an hour. As for what they talked about, only the two of them knew. Fortunately, several of the injured were also skin trauma, and the maintenance was just fine, so this matter was quickly suppressed completely, and the people on both sides were not pursued. Luo Sheng was more severely injured than anyone else. He was wounded all over his face. The wound on his body was kicked by Meng Yang, and the wound on his face was hit by Xiao Ku with his fist, so only he stayed in the hospital for three days. Discharged. Luo Xing's grandfather and his friends went to see him. Luo Xing's friends resented that they must avenge themselves, and Luo Xing's grandfather persuaded him to be patient first. When Luo Sheng was discharged from the hospital, Luo Xiu asked Luo Sheng to return to the main house of Longling Mountain. Luo Sheng thought that Luo Xiu would at least ask how he was injured. Luo Xiu sat on the sofa in the hall, looked coldly at Luo Sheng who stood in front of him for a while, got up and walked over, kicked on Luo Sheng's knee, Luo Sheng immediately knelt on the ground. Luo Sheng endured the pain and looked up at Luo Xiu with angry eyes. Go and apologize to Meng Yang for acknowledging the mistake, and apologize until he is willing to forgive you. Luo Xiu said coldly. Why should I apologize? Luo Sheng shouted. I hurt more than they do, and they unite to humiliate me. I wouldn't let them apologize to me. Do you also know that it's uncomfortable to be humiliated? Luo Xiu looked down at Luo Sheng and said, what do you have to do with the horse I bought for Meng Yang? What rights and qualifications do you have to humiliate him and use the whip to beat him he? What is he Meng Yang? 
He is not worthy of the Luo family's money. Luo Xiu kicked Luo Sheng to the ground with a hard foot. Luo Sheng's chest was sore, his eyes were black, and he almost didn't slow down. Luo Xiu looked at Luo Sheng covering his chest and said, Every cent of the Luo family now earns me. Whoever is willing to spend it on me, you think you are my son, my property must be will you inherit it. The last time I warned you, you dare to touch Meng Yang again, and I will beat you until half dot death. Immediately go to apologize to Meng Yang, Meng Yang will not forgive you one day, you will not be allowed to return to the main house. No return, no return. Luo Xing rose from the ground, glaring at Luo Xiu, anyway, I haven't grown up so much on you for so many years, even if you ask me later, I won't be able to come back. Luo Xing turned angrily and left. Luo Xiu sneered a bit in his heart. Luo Sheng was rather eloquent. Let me not say whether he could really do it and never return to the Luo family. Even if he had such guts, Master Ching could not agree. The Qing family has been snooping on the Luo family's property. Many years ago, they almost succeeded. Luo Xiu clenched his fists tightly, he would never let his family down, he must make them fall to the ground and then let them tortured, let them regret it. Sure enough, Luo Sheng arrived at Cheng's house and told Master Cheng that he would never return to Luo's house, and was immediately taught by Master Cheng. You're too confused, can you say anything like that? It's stupid. Mr. Cheng stood up, with his hands behind his back, he walked anxiously in his heart and said, You mean you should belong do you know that all your hands make people happy and let others please? Do you have to swallow your voice in that house, without dignity letting them humiliate at will? Luo Xing gritted his teeth and said, I can't swallow this breath. Mr. Chang's face sank, and he wanted to continue to teach Luo Xing to make him recognize the reality, but he saw Luo Xing's expression and complexion, and knew that he could not continue to strike him now, otherwise it would only make his rebellious heart worse. Mr. Ching sat down and said with a sigh, You are too young. Many things have not been experienced in person. I don't know the difficulties. Your father used to endure many things that ordinary people couldn't bear. Achievement If you really want to prove that you are stronger than your father, then you must be more tolerant than him. If you see and even bear this little thing, then you will not be a big deal in the future. Even Master Cheng has to admit that Luo Xiu, in addition to his stunning ability, and his patience beyond ordinary people, is also the key to his success. Luo Xing gritted his teeth hard. Although he understood the truth of his grandfather, he still felt unconvinced. In the past few days, you have to calm down and think about it. After a while, we will talk about this matter well. Master Cheng said. Chapter 26 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Second. Married married wife of a wealthy old man 26 Although Meng Yang was only slightly injured, Luo Xiu allowed him to rest at home for two days before returning him to school. The freshman period is about to end soon, and the monthly test will be carried out immediately. After each monthly test, the class will be reclassified and seats will be arranged according to the results, and the class after the class will be different. The placement of classes is very important. At the end of the month, students are at their most nervous. Meng Yang and his brothers and sisters, after writing down the work assigned by Mr. Lin Songtai, are preparing to pack up and leave. Do you have confidence in this exam? Lin Songtai asked. Teacher, we are particularly confident to take the exam every time. Wu Feng deliberately made a serious look and said. But with confidence, he is not very reliable. I think it's you who can't rely on yourself. Lin Songtai gave Wu Feng a glare, and then said. Although I usually tell you that the results are not the most important, but if you can have good results, it's definitely a pleasure to be able to extinguish the arrogance of Su Wangya's old man, do you understand? Teacher, we know. Meng Yang's brothers and sisters, a pair of teachers, we know how you look, and nodded and replied. Meng Yang looked at them and felt a little funny. Teacher, you can rest assured, this time with Meng Yang, 
at least the first place in the first grade is stable. Wu Fong said. The other brothers and sisters of Meng Yang also nodded their approval, because during this time, we already knew how talented Meng Yang was and how solid his basic knowledge was, so they all agreed that even if Meng Yang played abnormally, still can easily win the first place of age. Lin Songtai glanced at the students and said, Am I worried about Meng Yang? What I am worried about is that you, those who don't know how to grow. If you have Meng Yang half hard, I can do less. You it s time to be a little stressed, otherwise I ll be lazy all day long and I do not know how much time was wasted. This time, if you are not in the top 10 in your grades, you will be fined 1 to 20 volumes of botany 10 times. Pharmacology 1 to 20 volumes 10 times. Teacher. Howling sounded immediately in the classroom. How is it? It's not the same way. Lin Song said with a face on the table, and then got up and left. Meng Yang's brothers and sisters, all one with a frown on their faces, packed up and prepared to leave. A group of people had just walked out of the courtyard, and they just happened to meet Yu Junchen who came from the opposite courtyard. The stone road between the two courtyards was widened apart. The students on both sides were staring at each other for their strength. Meng on their side, Wu Feng's eyes were rounded. Meng Yang doesn't want to stare. He thinks it's boring and his eyes hurt. It's still very naive. For comparison, he will only compare his strength with the other party. Meng Yang said to Wu Feng. Brother, let's go quickly, I'm hungry. Wan Yin's defeat is only a matter of staring at the eyes. If you have time, go and read more books. When Yuan sneered contemptuously. You people who are used to defeats, really have no skill at all. Even if we saw us, we would end hide. Even if we still have faces in front of us, it's really shameless. Speaking of shamelessness, who can compare with you? Wu Feng said sarcastically. Master Su Wangya said in a tone, he can't accommodate people who falsify and cheat in his achievements, but he has helped you cheat many times. Who in this college I do and know? It s cheating and cheering, and I ll give it back to you. It s really shameless and invincible. You give me less nonsense. When Yuan glared at Wu Feng and said, Are you already ignorant, you don't even know the normal practice before the exam. Should there be a limit to stupidity? Wu Feng said sarcastically. Yes, your normal practice is really normal. But our teacher teaches us, even if we give up ranking, we must ensure the authenticity of the assessment, otherwise the assessment will be meaningless. Your teacher will teach you yes, even if you are shameless, use your own face to clean the side ball, and you still need to score and rank. It's okay if you slander us, we don't know anything like you, you dare to insult our teacher, don't blame me for being unkind to you. When Yuan said harshly. Are you afraid? Come here. Wu Feng rolled up his sleeves and looked like he was going to dry. Brother, forget it, don't quarrel. Yu Junchen persuaded Wen Yuan's hand to persuade, and then looked at Wu Feng and said. Brother Wu, don't say a few words, everyone is a school. It's not an enemy, so there's no need to be so fierce and hate every time you meet. Who is your brother? You are less pretentious in front of me, other people can't see your true face blindly, I'm disgusting about you, but I'm disgusting to the extreme. Wu Feng really hates Yu Junchen, seeing he pretended to be a good person, and even more disgusted, he began to attack. I heard that you are the most important student of Master Su, and also among you, the most talented. I think you grab the talent of other boyfriends, it must be more talented than your fragrant scholarship, so you will lose to Meng Yang in the previous smell test, right? Yu Junchen's aggrieved head was lowered, and when Yuan was more angry, wanting to teach Wu Feng in the past, but after looking at Qin Hong who was standing behind Wu Feng, he still kept his reason and thought about the way of teaching people anyway. Some of them are the most stupid way. Brother, take your expression away, you are like a villain. Meng Yang whispered. Wu Feng froze for a moment, 
then rubbed his face with his hand, adjusted his facial expression, he saw Wen Yuan they were so angry that they could not speak, and proudly leaned on their chin and left with Meng Yang. The closer to the assessment time, the more nervous the students of Xiang College, even the students who usually talk and laugh, became silent, as if the air was filled with the smell of tension. Yu Junchen was not less nervous than others, or even more stressed because Meng Yang's entrance examination score was higher than him. The last Wenxiang test won him again. If he see and keep the first place in the grade, then it's not just his own face, but also his teacher's face, and in these years, the first grade has always been his brother's, and he see and be robbed of the first position here, especially he is Su Wanya himself admittedly, the most talented of all students. The assessment of the Hong Kong College is very strict. It is impossible to cheat during the examination process. Although Yu Junchen did the exercises in advance, which is more advantageous than other students, the order of assessment is random, so they are also impossible. Completed correctly. On the day of the exam, there is naturally a more serious and tense atmosphere. Several masters are required to sit in the supervisory exam. At the same time, they also have to personally look at the assessment process of the students, especially their own students. The students below are nervous during the exams, the masters on the stage secretly competed. If their students performed well, they would show a little relief, which is actually a look of pride. The day after all assessments were over, the students stared at their tablet computers as soon as they arrived at the school, waiting to announce their grades. Received, received. No, my hands are shaking and I dare not open them. The first place is. It's Meng Yang, really. Look for yourself. It's really Meng Yang, even the full scores of other basic subjects, even the olfactory sensitivity test is actually full marks. Is he a monster? The scent quotient score is also very high, my god. Is it really possible for human beings to do this? Is he not a robot? Is this the arrogance of genius? Don't sigh other people's achievements anymore. No matter how high their scores are, it doesn't have much to do with us. Hurry up and look at your own achievements. You will be assigned classes and rescheduled. Yu Junchen's hand holding a tablet computer trembling non dot stop, he not only lost the position of the first name, but also opened a difference with Meng Yang, and the difference is not too small to regret kind of. Meng Yang had packed his things and waited for Jun Chen to recover and get up to take a seat. Meng Yang did not urge him. Anyway, the college had given instructions for changing classes and seats. Yu Jun Chen was in that position. The longer he stays, the more embarrassing will be himself. A few minutes later, although Yu Junchen's face was still ugly, he tried to maintain his composure and got up to exchange seats with Meng Yang. Going to Meng Yang's seat, Yu Junchen wanted to say congratulations to him, but he couldn't say it anyway. He was able to maintain his expressionlessness, and he did his best. Meng Yang glanced at him, then got up and walked to the first seat. He had seen Yu Junchen's ugly face. In the afternoon, their class would have a monthly master's fragrance theory teaching class, Su Wangya what kind of face the master would be, he was really looking forward to seeing it. In the afternoon, Lin Songtai and Su Wangya and several other masters entered the classroom. After they sat on the podium, they looked very different. Lin Songtai glanced at Meng Yang, and then exchanged glances with several other masters beside him, all with a satisfied smile on their faces. Su Wangya glanced at Meng Yang and then at Junchen. Although pretending to be calm, it seemed that he didn't care, other students might not see it, but Meng Yang could see the anxiety in his heart. Because all those sitting in this position over the years have been his students, and now one of his most valued and most favored students has been compared by Meng Yang. He cannot be in a hurry. Because such master classes are only once a month, they do not take up students' time and start classes directly. It wasn't until the end of class time that Su Wangya immediately got up and left, Lin Songtai stopped him. Why is Su Lao so anxious today? Lin Songtai said with a smile. 
Don't you always have to tell your students more before you leave? Su Wanya stopped and turned to look at Lin Songtai and said. Don't you think that you are proud now, is it too early, I don't think so, Lin Songtai said as a matter of course. It said that Feng Shui turns, you have been proud for so many years, and now Feng Shui has turned to me, of course, I have to be proud early. Su Wanya squinted at Meng Yang, snorted dismissively, and then looked at Lin Songtai and said, what can you be proud of for a while? Come here in Japan, let's just wait and see, to see who is prouder for a longer time, who can laugh. At the end. What you said, really said to me, let us look at the future. Lin Songtai nodded. The two masters confronted each other on the podium, and the students below did not dare to stand still. Although they didn't seem to be arguing, they seemed to be calmly communicating, but even these students could feel low air pressure between him. Lin Songtai looked at Meng Yang and said, You have performed very well this time. You have worked hard. You have a good rest in these two days. You don't have to come to me to take classes. Yes. Meng Yang replied respectfully. When the masters left, the students relaxed and then discussed in a low voice. Yu Junchen's mood is much calmer now. He knows that wasting too much time and spirit on the fact that it can't be changed is a very dangerous and incorrect thing. What he has to do is not to regret the past, but to do your best in the future. After adjusting his mind, Yu Junchen walked to Meng Yang's side and said, Meng Yang, congratulations. Thank you. Meng Yang said without looking up. Meng Yang, to be honest, although I lost the position of the first place, I was a little sad, but because the first place is you, I am particularly happy. This mood is quite contradictory, but you should also understand it, right? Maybe we will have more competition in the future, but I still hope that we can maintain a benign competitive relationship and make progress together, and can care for each other without barriers as before. Yu Junchen was very sincere the tone and expression looked at Meng Yang and said. After listening to his words, Meng Yang sneered in his heart. He felt that Yu Junchen's hypocrisy had really penetrated into the bone marrow. He was just for the books uploaded by the Meng family ancestor, so he always wanted to reconcile with him, but he was so sounding. Meng Yang stood up and looked at Yu Junchen calmly and said, If you want to be my competitor, then it depends on whether you can keep up with me. When you lose your qualification as a competitor, I hope you can accept the reality by then. Yu Junchen is the target of Meng Yang's revenge, but he is not a competitor in his mind. In terms of aromaeology and aromatherapy, Meng Yang has his own goals, and his goals are higher and farther away, so when he reaches him he will not stop until he can't break through the apex. And to what extent he can do it, he himself is unclear, but he will never stop working hard. Yu Junchen took a step back involuntarily. He looked at Meng Yang's expression, and there was a sense of panic and fear in his heart that he could not understand at the moment. The author has something to say. Thank you for the little angel who voted for me or irrigated nutrient solution thanks to the little angel who cast, rocket gun. One rice. Thank you for the little angel who cast, mine. One blue boy paper, thanks to the little angel who irrigated, nutrient solution. Twenty bottles of rice, mulberry, 292-657-0110 bottles, two bottles of smiles, Mia, Hakue, Kiyoshi, Scorpio de Dewanzi, Millennium Rain Break, 19816289, one bottle of Meow Stars, thank you very much for your support. I will continue to work hard. Chapter 27 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The rich second wife of the rich old man 27 Meng Yang took the first place in the grade, and his brothers and sisters said they would help him celebrate, and Lu Yunjing also said he would help him celebrate, so Meng Yang simply booked a small banquet hall with a garden pool at the hotel, let everyone together get together and invite Xiao Ku and his friends. After the last bar fight, Meng Yang had reasons to openly become friends with Xiao Ku. Meng Yang and his brothers and sisters chatted for a while before Xiao Ku came. Xiao Ku brought a few bottles of his own wine to Meng Yang to celebrate. 
Meng Yan wanted to chat with him alone and took him to the side to sit down. Meng Yan opened the red wine he brought, and after tasting a sip, he thought it was very good. While chatting with Xiao Ku, he couldn't stop drinking one after another. How is Sudi? Meng Yang asked. How else can he sleep well? As soon as Xiao Ku heard Sudi's name, his eyes flashed with sorrow. He smiled bitterly and said, It may have been too much pain before, and now he is asleep. I do not want to wake up. Perhaps he is really tired, so if you want to take a good rest, you don't have to worry too much. When he sleeps enough, he will definitely wake up. Meng Yang comforted that Sudi in the previous life did not wake up, but the Meng family in the ancestral book of aromatherapy methods, there are ways to wake up unconscious people, but he cannot tell Xiao Ku for the time being until he learns. After chatting with Xiao Ku for a while, Meng Yang went to chat with his brothers and sisters, and kept drinking. Lu Yunjing saw that he was about to get drunk, and he had to send him back. Meng Yang waved his hand, took out his mobile phone, and called Luo Xiu to let him pick him up. After Luo Xiu answered the phone, he couldn't help frowning when he heard Meng Yang's inarticulate words. He knew that Meng Yang must be drunk. He knew that there was a bodyguard to follow, but he was still not worried, worrying that he would make trouble again. What happened, immediately got up to pick someone up. In the conference room of the Luo group branch of a country, the employees who are in a video conference with Luo Xiu all look at me and I do not know how to do it. Their boss, who had never been absent from a video conference before, had left suddenly for the second time during the conference. The door of the banquet hall was suddenly opened, and all of them looked at it one after another. After seeing the man who appeared at the door, the original voice of talking and chatting was immediately quiet. I dare not continue talking. Luo Xiu looked around for a week, and then walked in. Because his aura was too strong, no one dared to step forward to stop him, and no one had asked him who he was looking for. The people who recognized him were even less afraid to go forward and talk. Even Lu Yunjing stepped back silently after seeing Luo Xiu. Luo Xiu saw Meng Yang collapsed on the sofa and strode towards him. He observed Meng Yang's state and found that he was completely drunk and he seemed to be pretending to be a fish and kept spitting bubbles. Luo Xiu took Meng Yang straight away and took it away until he disappeared outside the door. Those talents recovered, and some people even thought they drank too much and produced hallucinations. He is Luo Xing's father. Xiao Ku whispered to Lu Yunjing. Don't you ever see Luo Dong? Lu Yunjing gave him a puzzled look. Xiao Ku was also the master of Xiao family anyway. How could he never see Luo Xiu? I've seen it before, but it's the first time I saw it so close. It looks more handsome in the near future. Xiao Ku touched his face and said, and his aura is too strong, is it the reason for his face and figure? The strength of the gas field is mainly due to the momentum. Lu Yunjing said. After Luo Xiu took Meng Yang into the car, Meng Yang had been vaguely speaking words that could not be heard at all. Uncle Luo, don't shake it. Meng Yang held Luo Xiu's face, feeling that Luo Xiu kept shaking his head and made him dizzy. In fact, he was drunk himself, and Luo Xiu didn't move at all. Meng Yang's lips kept falling on Luo Xiu's face, that is, he couldn't find Luo Xiu's lips and he also confused Luo Xiu's face. Luo Xiu felt soft and whiny lips, and felt that this little guy was really enough to worry him. Even if a bodyguard followed him, he would still worry that he would be bullied outside and that he might be injured accidentally, worrying that he is too young without self.Protection consciousness is easy to be deceived, worrying that he looks too beautiful, someone will take advantage of him, worrying that he will be approached with ulterior motives because of marrying himself, and then be hurt. Luo Xiu stroked Meng Yang's hair and sighed helplessly. He didn't know when his state of mind began to change. Although this little guy is very worried about him, it is not a burden that makes him feel annoying, but a burden with a sense of happiness. Are you happy? Luo Xiu thought, he thought, he was an insulator for these two words. Meng Yang's mouth was sour, 
he still couldn't find Luo Xiao's mouth, and he felt tired. He buried his face in Luo Xiao's neck and rested. Then he still thought he was a fish and pouted. Puff puff puff. Luo Xiao held Meng Yang and returned to the room. Meng Yang was so drunk that he couldn't take a bath by himself. Luo Xiao gave him sober tea and took the warm towel he was carrying to help him wipe his face and neck. Body. Uncle Yuan looked aside and was very surprised, because he had been a housekeeper for Luo Xiao for so many years, and he had never seen Luo Xiao take care of himself. Uncle Yuan thought to himself, it seemed that Master Meng Yang was unusual for the husband. Not only would he allow him to marry him, but he could also take care of him willingly. That, s okay. Over the years, Mr. finally has someone who can walk into his heart to accompany him. After letting the servants go out, Luo Xiao put on Meng Yang's nightgown again, covered him with a quilt to make him sleep well, and then walked into the bathroom by himself. When Luo Xiao came out of the bathroom, he saw that Meng Yang too had nothing left, looking as if it was uncomfortable, and wriggled on the bed. Luo Xiao walked over to help him cover the quilt. Meng Yang groaned with dissatisfaction and pushed the quilt away. He really felt very hot. Meng Yang felt like his body was on fire, so hot that he was very uncomfortable. While breathing hard, he opened his eyes. In the blurred vision, he looked at Luo Xiao's face miraculously, and then sat violently. He got up and hugged Luo Xiao's neck. Uncle Luo. Uncle Luo, I have been waiting for you for a long time, why don't you come to pick me up? Meng Yang asked with a crying cry. How can you not pick me up? I've taken you back, and I'm home now. Get some sleep. Luo Xiao patted Meng Yang on the back. I really thought about giving up countless times, but I couldn't bear to give up. Meng Yang continued to cry. I have been waiting, waiting, I haven't waited for you. At first, Luo Xiao thought that Meng Yang was waiting for himself to pick up his things after he said he was drunk, but he didn't understand much later, but the drunk person had no logic to speak, he only can continue to hold him comfortingly. You wait, I will be here. You lied to you, you didn't. You didn't come to pick me up. Meng Yang felt very sad in her heart and uncomfortably hot, so she twisted in Luo Xiao's arms. Because Meng Yang's skin is very smooth and tender, Luo Xiao feels like holding a white and tender fish that is slippery in autumn. He is sweating when he is twisted by Meng Yang. Luo Xiao's nightgown was also pulled apart by Meng Yang. As a man with normal physical and mental health and normal functions, he felt guilty because of the sensations generated by his body. It's been a long time since I found someone to vent, and it seems that it's always easy to feel recently. In order to let Meng Yang sleep well, Luo Xiao held him tightly in his arms, and then covered him with a quilt to sleep. Meng Yang's feet were suppressed by Luo Xiao, and his body could not move. Finally, he fell asleep in a tired state. Meng Yang was asleep, but Luo Xiao couldn't fall asleep, because after Meng Yang was drunk, the body's scent became stronger. Luo Xiao smelled hot and kept sweating, taking eight baths a night. Early the next morning, when Meng Yang woke up, he sat in a daze on the bed and couldn't remember how he came back for a long time. Just when he was about to give up his memories and get out of bed to wash, he lifted his quilt and saw himself, and immediately opened his eyes in shock. Wake up! Luo Xiao came out of the bathroom. Meng Yang panicked the quilt again, then stuttered and said, Luo, Uncle Luo, me, I was last night, I. You were drunk last night and I picked you up. Luo Xiao said. Then, why am I not wearing clothes, not even underwear? Meng Yang whispered, if you take it off yourself, it may be that you drink too much and feel hot, so you take it off. Then, have you, have you. Relax, I didn't do anything to you, I just hugged you to sleep. Luo Xiao sat down by the bed and looked at him and said, Don't you think that I will take the risk of doing anything excessive to you? I don't mean that. Meng Yang asked, holding his legs and lowering his head. 
I want to ask, after I took off my underwear yesterday, Uncle Luo, do you, do you feel anything? Luo Xiu's eyes dodged guilty, and then said. You can rest assured that in my heart, you are still a child, even if you see your body, there will be no other ideas. Meng Yang grabbed his hair and thought annoyedly. You gave me some ideas. I took it off to show you. Do you want to hit people like this? Luo Xiu changed the subject and asked. What gift do you want? What gift? Meng Yang looked at him puzzledly. Your first place this year should be rewarded. Luo Xiu said. It's just a monthly exam. Every month, there is no need for rewards. Meng Yang thought about it and said, why not? I will take part in a very important competition in a while, if I can get the first place, you just meet me a request, how about? Yes, but it's not a requirement that embarrasses me. Relax, rest assured, I won't make any excessive demands. Meng Yang said immediately. After Luo Xiu entered the dressing room, Meng Yang also put on his robe and got out of bed, then quickly walked into the bathroom. Meng Yang, they usually learn and practice, they need to use a variety of raw materials for making incense. Some of the raw materials are easy to obtain, but some high dot quality raw materials depend on financial resources, luck, and recognition. In the city next door, there is the largest spice city in the country. The college gave leave to let them go to the Spice City's spring bidding auction with the masters. Meng Yang they go first, and the masters will arrive the next day. In addition to Meng Yang, they went together, naturally there were Yu Junqin and his brothers, and even Luo Xing followed. The reason Luo Xing would follow, of course, was for Yu Junqin. He knew that when Yuan liked Yu Junqin, and he quarreled with Yu Junqin twice. Although he believed that Yu Junqin had no different feelings for Wen Yuan, he could not give Wen Yuan any chance to take advantage of it, so he followed him together. Meng Yang has long wanted to go to the Spice City. In addition to buying a lot of spices for practice, he also needs to buy fragrance medicines for Luo Xiu's headache. This time he will go for two days and one night. Luo Xiu specially arranged people go with him. The Spice City of Yen City is an ancient city. All buildings and streets maintain the classic style. Entering here is like coming to ancient times. Every year, a large number of tourists and spice merchants from all over the world come here. Everywhere in the city is fragrant, almost every shop has its own signature fragrance to attract customers. Meng Yang walked into a spice shop that looked like a private house and went to the front desk to hand in Lin Songtai's famous post. Wen Yuan also go and hand over Su Wangya's famous post. After the person at the front desk received the post, the staff immediately led the way and took them to the garden where no ordinary customers were received. The garden is not big, but it is very quiet and elegant. Meng Yang first went to register and received a string of wooden signs with numbers, and then they sat down at the table, drinking tea while waiting for the bidding auction to start. When the time was up, the wooden gate of the garden was closed, and five service personnel dressed in costumes walked out of the house with the tray, and then placed the tray on a separate high platform for display. All guests took turns to watch. These raw materials are relatively rare and rare, so they are also very expensive. They can only be seen and smelled, and cannot be touched by hand. Some people also bring instruments to zoom in. There are a total of five kinds of raw materials for the first group of bidding. The people who have finished the observation return to their seats and start to think seriously, then write down the price in their hearts on the wooden sign. Of these five raw materials, only two are needed by Meng Yang, so he wrote the number of spices and the price in his heart on two wooden signs, and then handed it to the service staff. When the time is up, the service staff will no longer accept the wooden sign of the auction, but will make the price closest to it public. Number 1 and number 3 spices were obtained by guest number 28. Spice number 2, obtained by guest number 30. Number 4 and number 5 spices were obtained by number 35 guest. 
the service staff opened the wooden board for the pricing of spices, and then placed the wooden board with the closest price next to the wooden board for pricing. Meng Yang is on the 28th. The price he gave is almost the same as the price. Even Wu Feng was shocked. You guessed it too, this is no different from the original price. Wu Feng sighed. The prices of these spices are not difficult to guess, so they are accurate. Meng Yang said after drinking tea. I also guessed the number one, but the difference is too far. Wu Feng said with a supportive face. All spices used for bidding have strict pricing standards. In addition to identifying the quality of the spices themselves, we must also understand the current environment of the spices market to guess the closer prices. If everyone guesses the price is lower than the price, then no one can buy it, only the person who is higher than the price book and closest to the price can buy it. The raw materials of the second group were brought out, and Meng Yang and they went forward to observe again, and Meng Yang just smelled it and returned to his seat to start thinking. He wanted the five kinds of spices in the second group. Although they may not be available for the time being, these spices are not always available, so since they are encountered, it is not bad to buy them all and store them. Number 1, Number 2, Number 3, Number 4, Number 5 spices are all obtained by the Number 28 guest. After the service staff said loudly, they would open the price one by one, and then put the wooden sign of Meng Yang go up. Are you all bought? Can they be used? Wu Feng asked. It will always be available in the future. Meng Yang replied. Then all the spices in the third, fourth and fifth groups were bought by Meng Yang. Everyone couldn't help looking at Meng Yang again and again, and his eyes became more and more shocked, because Meng Yang was young and knew at a glance that he was still a student, and most of the others who could enter here were very powerful perfumer, and there are two master.level perfumers. They have never been able to guess a student, which is really shocking. If Meng Yang did not marry Luo Xiao, then before he found a reliable backer, he would be suitable for a low dot key, but now that he has Luo Xiao as a backer, there is no need for a low dot key. When Yu Junqin saw that all the spices he wanted were taken away by Meng Yang, he was anxious. Luo Xing saw his anxiety and patted his hand to appease him. When Yuan was anxious because Meng Yang bought almost all the spices. After seeing Luo Xing's actions, he became more irritable, but what he could do, he kept drinking tea and wanted to lower the anger in his heart. Afterwards, five more sets of spices were brought out one after another, and Meng Yang didn't care so much. Anything he liked, he guessed the price successfully. Even the boss in the house was shocked. He quickly got people to take a look at the register. Seeing that Meng Yang came with Lin Songtai's famous post, he thought about it thoughtfully. These spices are not cheap. Meng Yang bought so many at a time and paid directly without blinking, which also made him feel that his status was unusual. When they got up and walked out, those who came here in vain today began to talk. Who is that? It looks so young, can be so powerful, I have never seen him before. Yeah, obviously a student. Where did it come from? It seems that another genius has appeared. No, even if it's a genius, it didn't suddenly become a genius, at least I should have participated in the competition, but the young man just now, I don't have any impression. It's really strange, let's go and inquire, to see if other people know his origins. Yu Junqin and Wen Yuan, as well as other fellow Yu Junqin, felt uncomfortable when they heard those people praise Meng Yang. They originally thought that they could at least successfully bid for one or two spices, which was not ashamed of the teacher. It was unexpected but they were not successfully photographed, and almost all of them let Meng Yang bid for the auction. If the teacher knew it, it would definitely be angry. Luo Sheng was also very unhappy. As long as he saw Meng Yang spending money, he thought he was spending his money. When they were about to walk to the street, someone suddenly stopped Meng Yang. Classmate 28, please wait. Meng Yang and they looked back together. A tall, handsome man walked towards them with a gentle smile. Is there something? 
Meng Yang asked, looking at him puzzled. Meng Yang saw that this person seemed to be a mixed dot race, and still had a familiar look. After thinking for a while, he remembered who this person was. The author has something to say. Thank you for the little angel who voted for me or irrigated nutrient solution thanks to the little angels who cast, mine. Two big cherries and blending agents, Shu Yu, 33670250, who just happened to meet as Mantis Fish, Jing Yan, Sand Carving Netizens, 35478624, thanks to the little angel who irrigated, nutrient solution. AC 30 bottles, enthusiastic netizens love to learn 20 bottles, Raccoon Dog, Xiaoyi Fair 10 bottles, Jili underscore 5 bottles, Xing Yu, Ling Fei 2 bottles, Ma Yan Sheng, Munin Damawang, Ruoman, Shihua, Pig, Scorpio de Dewanzi, Qingjia, Miao Fairy King I 1 bottle, thank you very much for your support, I will continue to work hard. Chapter 28 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Second. Hand married wife of a wealthy old man 28 The man saw from the expression of Meng Yang that Meng Yang recognized him, so he looked at Meng Yang gently and asked, Are you going to dinner? How about I invite you? Wu Feng and the others looked at each other and thought that this man was handsome and handsome, but they didn't know it. What is the operation to invite them to dinner for no reason? No, we are going to go shopping and eat again, and I have already made a reservation. Meng Yang calmly refused. Brayley was very surprised by Meng Yang's refusal. He thought Meng Yang recognized him, but since he recognized him, how could he refuse his invitation? Goodbye. Meng Yang nodded to him, then turned and left. Blaylee is still surprised by Meng Yang's rejection, and Meng Yang and they have gone away slowly. When Yu Junqin passed by Bray Lei, he could not help but looked at him more, he also felt that this person seemed familiar. Wait a minute, I think of it. Wu Feng said aloud suddenly. He's not the one, what's that name? His name is Bray Lei. He is the vice president of the internationally renowned perfume Persevere Company, and he is also a famous perfumer in the world, and he is also a supermodel. Qin Hong looked at who he was. Yes, yes, it's him. I said how he looked so familiar. I saw his perfume advertisement before. His figure is super good. Wu Feng said excitedly. Did he just invite us to dinner? Did we just miss something? Everyone remembered it and started talking about it. Is it really him? I thought it was just like appearance, but he is an idol in the perfume world. Can we still go back to him now? Yeah, we're too lucky, even when he met Brayley, he still invited us to dinner. Am I dreaming? Wait a minute, you made a mistake. It seems that he is not going to invite us to dinner, he is going to invite Meng Yang to dinner. Meng Yang, didn't you recognize him just now? So you refused. Wu Feng looked at Meng Yang and asked. I recognized it. Meng Yang said. But we are not familiar with him, there is no reason for him to invite us to dinner. Don't you be cooked after eating. Wu Feng said. He must have seen you so powerful, so he wanted to know you. If you can become friends with him, then it is very advantageous to go abroad. Yes, and if you buy rare spices abroad, if you can have a relationship with him, it will be a lot easier. After listening to Wu Feng, Meng Yang just smiled and said, I booked a private room at Wangqing Tower, don't you want to go? Of course I want to go, but... Wu Feng also wanted to continue to persuade Meng Yang, but was interrupted by Qin Hong. Meng Yang is right, we are not familiar with others, why should we agree to let others invite you to dinner? Qin Hong said. When Wu Feng heard Qin Hong's tone, he knew he was jealous. He thumped Qin Hong with his elbow and said, You have less pantothenic acid. I really said that for the sake of Meng Yang. They all said that there were many friends if there is a friend Blay Lei in Meng Yang, there will be more golden roads. If Meng Yang goes abroad to race, it will definitely help. Yu Junqin has been deliberately slowing down to follow Meng Yang behind them. After hearing their conversation, 
he was surprised that the person was actually Breely himself, and Breely actually invited Meng Yang to eat, why will Meng Yang's luck be so good? Meng Yang and they strolled around the city for a while. After buying many common but high dot quality spices, they went to Wangqing Tower to eat. After eating, I returned to the inn. Compared with the hotels outside the city, all the inns in the city were not very large, and Meng Yang lived in the best inn in the city. What a coincidence. Do you also live here? Braley asked Meng Yang with a gentle attitude. Excuse me, are you Mr. Blaley? Wu Feng asked him looking at him. Yes. Bray Lei looked at Wu Feng and nodded, then looked at Meng Yang and asked, Can I talk to you alone? No need, you just say which kind of spice you want. Meng Yang has already seen that this person is specifically waiting for them, and the reason why he will wait for them is probably the spice he wants. Was bought by myself. Bray Lei smiled, thinking that the 28th was really clever and smart he likes to deal with smart people, and then said. I want Xiong Miji and Yuli Bao. No, Meng Yang refused to think about it, and immediately refused. I will use these two kinds soon, and I can't let them. I paid five times the price. Blaley said. Do you feel like I'm short of money? Meng Yang asked. Dot. Brayley thought about it, and then said, so how about I exchange it with other equal dot value spices? This time it's like I owe you a favor. Sorry, it's not that I do ain't want to sell you, but the two spices you want, I just need them, and they are indispensable, so it is impossible to transfer them to you. Although these two spices are scarce, they are still there are not so few that I bought, and there may be other spice shops. If you really need these two kinds of spices, you should hurry and go to ask everywhere. Meng Yang went directly to the end, these two kinds of spices are the essential two kinds of medicinal spices in Luo Xiu's medicine for the headache, so it is impossible to transfer to Bray Lei. Meng Yang Wu Feng glanced at Bray Lei, then quickly followed Meng Yang. Bray Lei turned to look at Meng Yang's back and sighed in his heart. Although he likes to deal with smart people, he doesn't like dealing with stubborn people. Boss, did that young man want to raise the price on purpose? Or did you want you to promise him a higher demand? Blaley's assistant stepped forward and said. I heard that there is an old saying in this country called stubbornness. He really didn't want to transfer it to me. Blaley looked at Meng Yang's back and smiled again, but it's very interesting. Wu Feng originally wanted to persuade Meng Yang, after all, it was a good thing to let Breely owe his affection, but he saw from Meng Yang's expression that it was useless to persuade him, so he didn't speak. Go on. Everyone went back to their own room. The others were two or three people in one room. Meng Yang lived alone in the largest room. He felt light and was not used to sleeping in the same room with others. Yu Junqin had a room with Luo Sheng. When Luo Xing entered the bathroom to take a shower, Yu Junqin sat on the sofa for a while, then got up and walked out of the room. Yu Junqin originally wanted to go to Meng Yang's room and talk to him, but as soon as he walked to the corner, he saw the back of a tall man entering Meng Yang's room. He was scared and immediately retreated go back. Yu Junqin felt that his back looked familiar. Looking at the height and figure, it was very similar to the Braley he met during the day. He quietly leaned out and found that the door of Meng Yang's room had been closed. After hesitating for a while, Yu Junqin quickly returned to his room with Luo Sheng. Luo Sheng, who was taking a shower, heard the rapid clap of the door and immediately opened the bathroom. He looked at Yu Junqin and asked, What's wrong? I just saw that. Yu Junqin said in a halting expression, with a clearly wrong look on his face. I was just going to speak with Meng Yang, but, I saw that during the day the man who was going to invite him to dinner went into his room, and after the man entered, Meng Yang closed the door of the room. Luo Sheng looked at Yu Junqin doubtfully, and didn't understand why this thing made him so panic. He also heard a little bit of their conversation during the day. The man seemed to have something to ask Meng Yang. Seeing Luo Sheng's doubts, Yu Junqin said, 
it's already too late. Everyone must have taken a bath and ready to sleep. Meng Yang is also a married person anyway. This time also let other men entering his room, if someone knows it, it is likely that some unpleasant words will come out. Luo Xing froze for a moment, and after his brain turned quickly, he immediately said, go and call everyone else, and we will avenge the opportunity for Meng Yang to let us watch us last time. You, do you really want to do this? Forget it, or wait for tomorrow, I will remind Meng Yang, let him pay attention to it later. Yu Junchen persuaded. When he let so many people come to watch us, he didn't think about our face at all, and we must not miss this opportunity. However, they don't necessarily do anything. Maybe they just talk in the room. The man seems to be buying spices with Meng Yang. It doesn't matter whether they do anything, as long as others think they have anything to do. Luo Xing said. Forget it, you can't do this kind of thing, don't dirty your hands because of him, I can do it alone. Now. Luo Xing picked up his mobile phone, made two calls, and then dressed and waited. Ten minutes later, Luo Xing's caller arrived. Luo Xing personally called out Yu Junchen's brothers and even Meng Yang's brothers, and then everyone surrounded Meng Yang inexplicably. At the door of the room, watching Luo Xing knock on the door. Who? Meng Yang asked loudly. Luo Xing did not answer, but just kept knocking on the door. Meng Yang walked to the door suspiciously, opened the door a little, and saw that there were so many people standing outside, he also froze. Luo Sheng wanted to push the door open, and Meng Yang pressed the door hard, looked at him coldly and asked, What are you doing? What am I going to do, don't you know? Luo Sheng sneered sarcastically, then pushed the door harder. Open the door. This is my room. You open it when you open it. Meng Yang already understood what he was doing. He gave the bodyguards who had appeared behind the crowd a look, so they wouldn't care. Hey, I said to you, what's wrong with you, call us here and stand, what the do you want to do? Wu Feng, they have all slept in sleep, and suddenly they haven't been awakened yet. Knowing the situation, Luo Xing let them stand in the corridor, and then he began to knock on Meng Yang's door. They thought it was Meng Yang what happened. Yes, what do you want to do? If you want to make trouble and bully Meng Yang, so many of us are here, but you will not be afraid of you. Who are those people? Meng Yang looked at the people with cameras in his hands and asked, Are you a reporter? Why, are you taking someone to catch him? Just like last time I took someone to you are caught like Yu Junchen, NV, yes, I'm here to catch and rape. Luo Xing said aloud. You have been married to my father, but in such a big night, there are still other men hidden in your room, my Luo family is shameless. So if there are no other men in my room, how are you going to apologize to me? Meng Yang said with a cold face. Is it? Open it and see if you can hide it for you. Luo Sheng stayed in the corridor after finishing the call, so he was very sure that no one left. Since he did not leave, then people must still in the room. It's okay for you to look at, but first, if there are no other men in my room, what are you going to do? Meng Yang continued to ask. Stop talking nonsense, you give me a break. Luo Sheng pushed the door open. After the door was pulled back, Luo Sheng was about to rush in. At this time, the bathroom door was also opened, and a person wearing a bathrobe walked out from the inside. Luo Sheng was very excited, just when the reporter was about to take this scene. The man suddenly took off the towel that was wiping his hair, Luo Xing also saw his face clearly, and then stiffened. What are you doing? Luo Xiu saw a large group of people standing outside the door, and Luo Xing stood at the front, frowning immediately. Uncle Luo, Luo Xing said that there were other men hiding in my room, so I took someone to catch him. Meng Yang walked to Luo Xiu's side and hugged his arm. He actually intentionally wanted to humiliate me, this is not the first time. Father. Luo Sheng swallowed nervously and explained. I don't know you are here, I thought, I thought he. 
Why do you? Luo Xiu looked at the people behind Luo Xing holding the camera and said, Are these a reporters? Since you called the reporters, that's just right, I'll make it clear today, just let them report. Everything about the Luo family has nothing to do with you. My property will not be inherited by you for a penny. Tomorrow I will let people go through legal procedures to sever the relationship between you and your father. You can also I am stubborn about inheriting the Luo family industry. In the future, my affairs, the Luo family's affairs, and the Meng Yang's affairs, do not require you outsiders to do much business. The law is not a child's play. It cannot be the same today and tomorrow. If Luo Xiu and Luo Xing really go through the legal process to sever the father-son relationship, then the legal father-son relationship cannot be restored for at least ten years. It has nothing to do with Luo Sheng, because he is already an adult. Luo Xiu wanted to completely cut off his thoughts of inheriting the Luo family industry in advance, so that he would not make troubles again and again. If it is not for the sake of his ignorance, he has already shot him. Let him jump so happy. Father. Luo Sheng's face changed a lot. He saw from Luo Xiu's eyes that Luo Xiu was really determined this time to break off his father and son relationship. Do and call me my father. I do and have such a good life. I can have a son like you. If they do and report it publicly, I will also let other media report it. From now on, you d better not dream of me anymore. The property has nothing to do with you. Luo Xiu thought about it and thought he would like to make a few more words. If people can't stand on their own, they can't strengthen themselves. Only things that can be obtained by one's own ability should be yours. Nothing else. I'm sorry. Luo Xing clenched his fist hard. He couldn't even listen to Luo Xiu's words, only thinking that he must be patient for the Luo family's property. He lowered his head and said, I am willing to apologize to Meng Yang, how can I apologize? It's okay. Apology is what you should do, but it is Meng Yang's right not to forgive you. Luo Xiu looked at him and said. Luo Xing took two steps forward and then bent over to Meng Yang 90 degrees. I'm sorry, everything that happened before is my fault, please forgive me. If you think that what you have done can only be completely erased by a sorry sentence, then I can only say that you are too naive. Meng Yang looked at him and said, but since you have to apologize, at least come out with some sincerity. What do you want me to do? Luo Xing gritted his teeth and asked. According to the traditional etiquette of our country, on the second day of my marriage with Uncle Luo, you should give me tea and call me dad. But I have been married to Uncle Luo for some time. It has not been done in accordance with etiquette and rules. Meng Yang finished, winking at the bodyguard standing outside the door. The bodyguard came in, poured a cup of tea, and brought it to Luo Sheng. Meng Yang took Luo Xiu to sit on the sofa together and looked at Luo Sheng. Meng Yang didn't force people to kneel down. If Luo Sheng was really sturdy, he could turn around and go away. There were many people standing outside, who were watching this scene. They were also curious. Luo Sheng would turn around and leave, or would he really give Meng Yang tea, and then call him dad? Luo Sheng clasped his hands tightly, according to his character and temper, he should have turned around and left, but his grandfather had been circling in his mind. To become a big deal, he had to endure ordinary people. Luo Sheng told himself in the heart that his father could bear it now, and now he can also bear it. When he takes control of the Luo family, he will definitely make Meng Yang pay thousands of times today. Luo Sheng took the tea cup in the hands of the bodyguard, then walked to Luo Xiu and Meng Yang and knelt down, raised the tea cup and said, Please have little dad drink tea. The author has something to say. I originally wanted to update it later, but I thought about it again, and decided to publish the update at a fixed time. Whatever the ranking is, let him go. Now I am quite satisfied with this collection. Next, I will try to keep a good attitude and good mood, and then work hard to save the manuscript, thank you for your support. 
Chapter 29 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Rich men second. Married wives 29 standing outside the door were Meng Yang's brothers and sisters and Yu Junchen's brothers, as well as Yu Junchen himself and several part. Time paparazzi. Luo Xing knelt in front of Luo Xiu and Meng Yang in front of these people and called Meng Yang a little dad. Even Meng Yang was surprised himself. Unexpectedly, a person like Luo Xing actually knelt for him. Sure enough, the power of money was really strong enough. Standing in front of the door, Yu Junchen was shocked and distressed. Looking at him like that, he was like a big wicked man like Meng Yang, forcibly humiliating Luo Xing's dignity, and Luo Xing had to bear the weight. Meng Yang deliberately waited for a while before he took over the tea cup in his hand, but he did not drink it. He would not drink his cup of tea. Meng Yang looked at him and said, You're a little late for this cup of tea, so you don't want to drink it now, but since you have called me a little dad, then I can't have the temperament of my elders. So, do you forgive you, I will give it a good thought tonight, and I will give you an answer tomorrow. Luo Xing gritted his teeth and took a deep breath to suppress his anger. You can go. Meng Yang said. Luo Xing got up, turned around and walked out. When he walked to the door, he pushed the person in the door firmly away, and then quickly left. It's not too early, and you all go back to sleep as soon as possible. Meng Yang walked to the door and closed the door after finishing speaking. Luo Xing knelt down to give Meng Yang tea in front of so many people, and called him a little dad. Although Meng Yang was a little bit happy, but such a little punishment was not enough. Meng Yang wanted to see how much Luo Sheng could endure for money. Meng Yang sat on the bed and looked at Luo Sheng and said, Uncle Luo, I did that just now. Was it excessive? I know that although you said a lot to him just now, he is after all your son, father and son. Family relationship, it means that it can be broken. He is not my son. Luo Xiu said suddenly. Not your son. What does this mean? Meng Yang asked in a pretentious manner. Dot. Luo Xiu thought for a while and said, I mean, I never regarded him as my son, and it is absolutely impossible for my property to be inherited by him. You just think that he is not my son at all. It s just that he s not right. You can teach him whatever you want. It s just to help yourself out. Meng Yang thought that Luo Xiu wanted to tell him the truth, but it seems that he didn't intend to tell it for the time being. After all, Luo Xiu had the setting that he could not easily tell the truth that Luo Sheng was not his biological son. This setting, in the previous life, also facilitated Luo Sheng to successfully inherit the Luojia industry. But this life is absolutely impossible. Meng Yang approached Luo Xiu, hugged his waist, looked up at him and said, Uncle Luo, since you never regarded Luo Sheng as your own child, and did not intend to let him inherit the property of the Luo family, then it would be better for me to come while you have a baby for you. You are still a child yourself, and now you are thinking about having a baby. It's too early to wait for you to meet. Luo Xiu was already talking, but suddenly he couldn't say anything. He wanted to say wait for Meng Yang after meeting the person he loves, he will regret to say such things, but when he thinks that Meng Yang will leave him in the future, there will be irritability in his heart. Meng Yang pushed Luo Xiu down, sat on him, looked down at him and said, I want to give you a baby. Although we have a three. Your contract, after three years, if you don't want me to leave, I will if we do and leave, will we raise the children together. Meng Yang kissed Luo Xiu's forehead, nose, cheeks, and chin, then put his hand on his flat stomach and looked at him and said, Let me have a baby for you, teach me how to do, you are my legal husband, you have a responsibility to teach me these things, the two looked at each other. Luo Xiu saw the love in Meng Yang's eyes, and Meng Yang also saw that Luo Xiu was not indifferent. He was just patient. Meng Yang leaned over again and blew into Luo Xiu's ear and asked, Do you really hope that after three years, I will go find someone to learn this kind of thing, and then give birth to others? Luo Xiu closed his eyes and took a deep breath. 
Meng Yang Hua gave him a hard blow. God knew how much strength he used to keep this calm. When Meng Yang saw him like this, he was even more unwilling. He obviously didn't do anything in the last life, he could love himself. In this life, he was so eager to embrace, and even said so straightforward, Luo Xiao was unimpressed, and he didn't believe it. Isn't he so unattractive? It made him sit still. Meng Yang ripped off Luo Xiao's nightgown and started working on him. Dot Luo Xiao's line of reason broke, he turned over and pressed Meng Yang under him, then kissed him hard. Meng Yang hugged his neck and didn't know how to respond, but was under his control. Every time Meng Yang was drunk, he thought he was a fish, but he didn't know it, and he had no memory after waking up. When he was fainted by Luo Xiu, he fell into the illusion that he had become a fish, and the feeling was obvious, so when he woke up, his memory would definitely be clear. A beautiful white fish swimming freely in the warm water. When he was very happy, a sea monster that was much larger than him suddenly appeared. He had to hide in the stone cave, but the sea monster tried to enter the cave and eat him. Making him feel scared. The sea monster bit the white fish. The small white fish struggled with pain. He cried and begged for mercy, but the sea monster bit so hard that he couldn't break free. The little white fish thought that the sea monster would eat him, and he was afraid because of the pain, but slowly, he found that although the pain was, but a little comfortable, he no longer struggled. Meng Yang thought that he was going to have a husband and wife with Luo Xiu tonight, but after all the previous things had been done, Luo Xiu actually could not resist the last step. Luo Xiu stroked Meng Yang's face. He looked so small. The whole person was like a fresh and delicious peach. The water was gently pinched out, and it was still sweet and delicious. But it was because he was too tender, so he couldn't stop talking, but even if it was just a tasting, it gave him an aftertaste, and he really fell in love with this taste. What Luo Xiao is most worried about now is that Meng Yang is still too young. One day in the future, he will probably regret it. Luo Sheng and Yu Junchen didn't sleep all night. Yu Junchen kept apologizing to Luo Sheng because he was wrong. He just vaguely saw a back view and thought he was the one to invite Meng Yang to dinner during the day. Entering Meng Yang's room, Luo Sheng had to apologize to Meng Yang, but also knelt down and gave tea to Meng Yang, and admitted to Meng Yang's dad. Luo Sheng is completely sleepless because of his anger. Of course, he is not angry with Jun Chen, but he is angry with Meng Yang, thinking in his mind how he can get his revenge back. After dawn, Luo Sheng entered the bathroom to wash, he didn't want to stay here, he planned to leave immediately, and he just got out of the bathroom after washing and received a call from his grandfather. What the is going on? Why does the news say your father wants to openly sever ties with you? Mr. Cheng asked impatiently. News. Luo Xing had a bad hunch in his heart, and immediately picked up Jun Chen's mobile phone, and then clicked on the news network page. The headline of the news headline of An Luo City was that the chairman of the Luo group would take legal procedures with the only son cut off the relationship between father and son. However, the content of the text says that it has only been heard that such news has not yet been confirmed. Luo Xing knew that it would be impossible for such news to appear without Luo Xiu's advice. What's going on? Mr. Cheng asked again. Luo Xing told Master Cheng what happened last night, but did not say that Yu Junchen told him that there were other men in Meng Yang's room. You are so confusing. If I ever talk to you, can't you remember a sentence? Mr. Cheng said angrily. How many times have I told you that you must be patient? Don't provoke that Meng for now. Yang, he can make your father marry him and drive your father out of the Luo family. It must not be a simple and easy person to deal with. How could he be caught so easily by you? Luo Xing listened to his grandfather's lessons and had nothing to say. He felt that his grandfather's lessons were very reasonable. He really looked too low on Meng Yang, and he made a taboo against the enemy. You listen to Luo Sheng. Master Cheng said solemnly and solemnly. 
since the news said that this matter has not been confirmed, then it means that your father still gave you a chance. No matter what method you use, you must do and let your father go through legal procedures to sever the relationship between you and your father. If you see and even do this, you ll have to spend so many years trying to teach you. Then, do and go back to Cheng S house anymore. Cut off the relationship with me too. Mr. Ching worried that what he said was too heavy, and would make Luo Xing sad afterwards, he said before he hung up the phone. This is a test for you. I hope you will not let me down. Luo Xiao had other things to deal with, so he would leave immediately after getting up and washing. Then do you come to pick me up at night? Or am I going to find you? Meng Yang asked, holding his waist. I'll pick you up. Luo Xiao answered. Okay, let's kiss and then go. Meng Yang pouted slightly with her head raised. Luo Xiu hesitated, but still helped Meng Yang's head kissed. Meng Yang also held his head and deliberately licked his lips before letting go of him. After Luo Xiu left, Meng Yang also began to change clothes to make door preparations. As soon as Meng Yang changed his clothes, he heard Luo Xing's noise outside. Let him come in. Meng Yang said. When the bodyguard heard Meng Yang's instructions, he opened the door and let Luo Xiu go in, and they also entered the room and stood guard. Seeing Luo Xiu absent, Luo Xing could only look at Meng Yang and said angrily. What's the news headline of Anlua City? I have kneeled to you yesterday, why is there such news? Kneeling is voluntary, and I have no one to force you to kneel on your head. Meng Yang sat down on the sofa and looked at him. What do you want? Luo Xing gritted his teeth and asked. Meng Yang looked at it silently for a while and then said. At the beginning, your father never thought of relying on the Luo family for success, and he was forced by your grandparents, and he felt compelled to repay your grandparents' nurturing grace before he and your mother were married marriage, he originally wanted to break away from the Luo family rely on his own ability to break into a career, because your grandfather suddenly died of serious illness, and your uncles are only a teenager, he had to take over the Luo family industry. As long as Meng Yang thought of Luo Xiu's suffering, he was not able to breathe easily. He looked at Luo Xiu coldly and said. When he took over the Luojia industry, Luojia's company it is already precarious, and because your grandfather and uncle have fallen into the rocks again and again, he has been struggling to support the Luo family s industry. Everything the Luo family has created by him now, if he is willing to give you, you can hold, but he does not want to give it to you, and you take it for granted that his should belong to you, which is ridiculous. Don't give it to me, do you want to give it to you? Luo Xing glared at Meng Yang. Luo Xing's words made Meng Yang completely despise him, and he said with a smile. I and your father will have children sooner or later, and there must be more than one. Then, whoever he wants to give will be given, even if he exchanged all the cash and threw it into the sea, what can you do? Luo Xing's face is even more ugly. He can't continue to refute Meng Yang, he can only turn around and leave quickly. He has to go back to the Qing family to discuss countermeasures with his foreign public. As long as he can get Luo's property, he can do anything. Meng Yang smiled contemptuously again. Luo Xiao never gave Luo Xing any hope, even if Luo Xing did not know that Luo Xiao was not his biological father, but he could hate a father who had not treated him since childhood. He can blame him, he cannot recognize his father, but for property, he must recognize Luo Xiu father. If Luo Xiu was just an ordinary office worker, then Luo Sheng would definitely be very ostentatious and would not recognize this father who ignored him. When Meng Yang was ready to go out, he thought that he had come out late. Unexpectedly, he came out earlier than everyone else, so he stood in the courtyard of the inn, waiting for his brothers and sisters while looking at the flowers them. Good morning. Meng Yang turned his head to look over, then nodded and said, early. Are you waiting for your friends? Blaylee asked Meng Yang. Yes. Meng Yang replied. Then I'll take a step first. Blaylee said with a smile, 
and then left with his assistant and bodyguard. Okay. Meng Yang nodded, and then looked at Bray Lay's back as he walked out. His heart suddenly flashed. He thought he knew why Luo Sheng thought there were other men in his room. This person's back it looks very similar to Luo Xiu, and is about the same height. Yesterday, when Meng Yang returned to her room, she called Luo Xiu and knew that Luo Xiu was going to visit the branch of the Yenchu branch, so she showed him coquettishness and asked him to see him. Then Luo Xiu came. Luo Sheng would make such a come out, Meng Yang was unpredictable, but it just gave him the opportunity to teach him, he sent the head of his own initiative, he did not step on the white. The author has something to say. The recent weather is really fickle, everyone be careful not to catch a cold, remember to drink more hot water. Thank you for the little angel who voted for me or an irrigation nutrient solution thank you for the little angel who cast, land mine. One day looks like a ghost, thanks to the little angel who irrigated, nutrient solution. Fifteen bottles of dragonflies, ten bottles of enthusiastic netizens who love to learn, daytime looks like a ghost, five bottles of Joanna underscore underscore came, timeline timeline, Scorpio de Big Garden, ZY1 bottles, thank you very much for your support, I will continue to work hard. Chapter 30 You are listening at novelfull.audio Second. Married married wife of a wealthy old man 30 after eating breakfast, Meng Yang and they set off directly to the largest Pinxiang garden in the city. The quarterly bidding auctions for the four seasons are held here every year. Lin Songtai and Su Wangya, as well as other masters from Xing Yashian College, have also arrived and are sitting and chatting over tea. Yu Junchen had already arrived, but Su Wangya's face was not very good, and Yu Junchen also lowered their head slightly and did not speak or communicate. Meng Yang they went over to salute several masters. Sit all. Lin Songtai said with a smile. I heard that yesterday's spice auction was all-inclusive by Meng Yang. It's not all covered, Meng Yang replied. At the beginning, there were a few things that I didn't think were necessary, and there was no bid. Later, if you think about it, even if you don't need it for the time being, it's always useful when I was on, I photographed everything behind. Lin Songtai and several masters around him smiled, while Su Wangya and the other masters around him were not so good. Teacher, if I do this, shouldn't it cause any trouble? Although Meng Yang felt that he didn't need to hide his strength, it was better to ask. You are still a student. It is still necessary to show your strength as much as possible. After your fame opens, you must remember to leave some food for others. Lin Songtai said. Yes, the student wrote it down. Meng Yang thought so too. For him now, it is the most important to open up his reputation and be able to participate in higher dot standard auctions in the future. Will you come in with me later, and you will guess how to bid? Lin Songtai asked. Thank you for your willingness to give me a chance. If I guess the price correctly, will I be able to buy it myself? Meng Yang asked. Of course. Lin Songtai said. Thank you teacher. Meng Yang thanked with joy. When the sound of the gong rang, the folding wooden doors separating the inside and outside were all pushed open. Those qualified to bid up and walked in, leaving the others outside to watch. Everyone who is qualified to bid can bring a person in as a helper, and most of the people who bring helpers are experts in bidding and bidding. There are also those like Lin Songtai who bring their students into the world to meet and learn. Yu Junchen is the most worthy student of Su Wangya at present, so of course Su Wangya takes him with him. No matter what, he must be brought up by Jun Chen, so that Yu Junchen can win more awards. Well, it needs to be in the association to have more right to speak. If Yu Junchen beats Meng Yang, then Lin Songtai will take advantage of this opportunity. The first round of bidding auctions began. There are two kinds of spices in the first group of the first round. In each round, only one person can come forward to identify the quality of these spices. In the first round, there was the spice that Zhuangjia needed, so he went to himself to determine the quality of the spice. Bray Lei originally walked in front of Meng Yang, 
but suddenly turned around and said, You first please. Meng Yang didn't know what made it easy, and he didn't want to talk nonsense. He just nodded and walked in front of him to confirm the quality of the two spices. Meng Yang just went to smell it, and didn't even go to read it, he made sure to return to the seat, after thinking for a while, he wrote the price on the wooden sign. Are you confident? Lin Songtai asked. Yes. Meng Yang nodded. Lin Songtai smiled and continued to drink tea. Not long after the wooden sign was received, the staff announced loudly. Number one and number two spices were obtained by guest number 17. Lin Songtai's smile was stronger, and Su Wangya immediately turned to look at Meng Yang and couldn't help but clenched his fist. The number one spice was exactly what he needed. The following two rounds of spices were all obtained by Meng Yang. The other guests who participated in the auction were not very good. The people who watched outside were also surprised by the discussion. Who is that young man? It's so powerful. Don't you see him sitting with Master Lin Songtai? Most of the students just received by Master Lin Songtai, who can be admitted as students by such world.class masters, there must be something extraordinary. There are a lot of masters and experts in bidding and bidding. He is so unique, comparing these people. Isn't it just three rounds? It's too early to say this. The fourth and fifth rounds started soon. Su Wangya originally thought that after taking the spices he needed, he would let Yu Junchen also try it. Even if the guest price is not accurate, as long as it can be close to the pricing, it was just learning, but in the current situation, he did not intend to let Yu Junchen go up. Teacher, can I buy all the spices? Meng Yang asked Lin Songtai after returning to his seat. What's wrong? Lin Songtai said. Meng Yang nodded and continued to write down the price on the wooden sign. Until the end of the sixth round, Meng Yang alone took all the spices at the spring quarterly bidding auction, and the people who watched them were too shocked and the argument was growing louder. Yu Junchen carefully glanced at Su Wangya's face, then lowered his head, thinking about when it started, Meng Yang's sense of smell became so powerful. Su Wangya sighed in his heart for a long time, even if he was very upset, but had to admit that Meng Yang's sense of smell is really too strong, and not only is his sense of smell strong, he is also proficient in various knowledge of spices to a certain extent, so the price can be guessed so accurately. The staff packed all the spices into the box and asked Meng Yang to look around before packing. Lin Songtai picked up one of the wooden boxes and smelled the spice in it, and he was immediately shocked. If the spice made him judge the quality, he couldn't hold it, and Meng Yang could guess the price, which was almost the same. He can now feel the mood of other people who guessed the price. After Meng Yang signed the receipt, Lin Songtai stood up and took Meng Yang out, while those who were watching were all surrounded. Lao Lin is worthy of being an international master of incense, and he is really a master teacher. Congratulations to Mr. Lin, he has another day to be a student. Thank you, thank you. Lin Songtai took the students out and thanked them with a smile on his face. He was still very proud of the compliments of these people. Master Lin, your student has such a strong sense of smell. Do you plan to train him as a spice discriminator in the future? Yes, your old student's sense of smell is amazing and admirable. With your old cultivation, you will surely become a famous master of spice identification in the future. Future things will not be known until later. Now that you have done countless things, you must not kill him. Lin Songtai's words still have some reservations. Lao Lin, can you take a step to speak? The management staff of Spice City finally asked to squeeze to Lin Songtai. You go to the opposite tea house and wait for me. Lin Songtai said back to the students, then walked to the side with the Spice City administrators. When Blay Lei passed Meng Yang, he looked at him with a smile and said, Congratulations, you can say that this time you won a great victory. Thank you. Meng Yang replied calmly. You. Braley originally wanted to ask Meng Yang why he was so indifferent to himself, 
but then thought about it, thinking that Meng Yang might be such a character, he said with a smile. I hope that next time we meet again, we can be friends, goodbye. Meng Yang has the same attitude towards unfamiliar people. Even if the other party is an internationally renowned perfumer, and still has the title of perfume idol, it is a master.level figure loved by countless fans. It's impossible for him to get close to him because of Blaylee's status. Meng Yang they went to the opposite tea house, while others were still talking about how powerful Meng Yang was, and more and more people were talking about it. This time, he really gave Lin Song Tai a long face, and also made himself famous in the Spice City in one day. In the future, someone will definitely be willing to pay a high price to ask him to identify the quality of the spice. Now, everything is just the beginning. People from the Spice City Management Association would like to feast on some wealthy businessmen and Xiang Shui masters. Today, Meng Yang is in the limelight. The people of the Management Association hope that Lin Songtai will also bring Meng Yang to the banquet, because there are many rich businessmen who want to know him. The Spice City Management Association face, Lin Songtai still wants to give, so not only took Meng Yang to go, other students were also taken. Meng Yang, they returned to the inn to wash and change clothes, and then set off to attend the banquet, while Yu Junchen was carrying luggage to prepare to take the tour bus to the outside of the city and set off for Anluo. Yu Junchen, who was about to get on the tour bus, saw Meng Yang in formal attire and walked out. Then they treated them like transparent people, and even gave them no extra eyes, so they walked in front of them. Meng Yang sent a message to Luo Xiu and learned that Luo Xiu would actually go there, so he was not so interested in the lack. After attending the banquet, he could go home with Luo Xiu. After they entered the banquet hall, Meng Yang was taken by Lin Songtai to greet the people of Spice City Administration. After getting acquainted with these people, they would be convenient even if Meng Yang did not bring his name post to Spice City in the future. A lot of Many rich businessmen came over to talk to them and expressed their intention to invest in Meng Yang. After Lin Songtai told them of Meng Yang's identity, they immediately stopped talking about investment. Without knowing Meng Yang's identity beforehand, they rushed to say that they wanted to invest in him, even they felt embarrassed. Meng Yang finally left the crowd, looking for Luo Xiu's figure for a while, and then saw Luo Jiao standing not far away talking to Braley. Blai Lai turned his head slightly and saw Meng Yang walking towards them. He thought Meng Yang was looking for him to speak, so he kept looking at Meng Yang. When Meng Yang approached, he held Luo Xiu's head, nodded at Bray Lei, then turned to look at Luo Xiu and asked, When did you arrive? It's just about three minutes. Luo Xiu looked at Meng Yang and replied. Then when can we go? I'm a little sleepy. Meng Yang said. Luo Xiu glanced at the time and said, I will say hello to my friends, and we will go back in ten minutes. Okay. Meng Yang nodded. Blaylee kept watching the two of them talking. After a moment of stunned, he came back and asked, Dong Luo, is this? This is my lover Meng Yang, we just got married soon. Luo Xiu replied. Not. Are you already married? Braley looked at Meng Yang, and there was an indescribable sense of loss in his heart. Then I will talk to the teacher and the brothers. Meng Yang said looking at Luo Xiu. Luo Xiu nodded. Meng Yang nodded to Braley again, then turned and walked away. Braley's eyes have always followed Meng Yang. The sense of loss in his heart has been fully reflected in his face, but he has not realized it yet. Luo Xiu looked at his expression, then turned to look at Meng Yang's back, and immediately understood what was going on, and was a little unhappy in his heart. Mr. Braley, I'm going to say hello to my friends, and we will talk again next time. Luo Xiu said disgustedly. Okay. Braley hides the emotions on his face, but the emotions in his heart are still not very good. In fact, he doesn't already like Meng Yang, but he feels that he is likely to meet an interest. He has not even started to take any action, and further confirmed his feelings, he has lost the opportunity, 
which makes him feel very lost. At such banquets, Luo Xiu usually only came to show his face. After ten minutes, Luo Xiu took Meng Yang away. Luo Xiu saw that Bray Lei was still looking at Meng Yang and raised his arms around Meng Yang to go outside. What's wrong? Meng Yang felt like he was a little wrong. It's okay, aren't you sleepy? Let's sleep in the car later. Luo Xiu lowered his head in Meng Yang's ear and kissed him on the face. Although Meng Yang did not know why he had to lower his head to tell him specifically, he nodded. In Braley's eyes, Luo Xiu hugged Meng Yang and bowed his head to kiss his cheek from time to time, and the two left so intimately together. After getting in the car, Meng Yang yawned, and then lay sideways in Luo Xiu's arms, let him hug himself to sleep. Meng Yang fell asleep quickly, and Luo Xiu looked at his sleeping face, feeling a bit complicated. He knew very well that it would be normal for someone to be attracted to Meng Yang, and then fall in love with him. It would only be more in the future. After all, he was excellent and beautiful. He was still so young. Breath. Braley is ten years younger than him, and is more suitable for Meng Yang, and he is also very good in all aspects. But as soon as he thought that Braley liked Meng Yang, he felt very angry. He didn't even know whether he was angry with Braley or whether he couldn't be ten years younger, maybe. Luo Xiu kissed Meng Yang's forehead. He didn't want to hand him over to anyone. Even if someone more suitable appeared, he didn't want to let go. Only by leaving him beside him could he be at ease. The author has something to say. Please applaud and assist Mr. Braley. Thank you for the little angels who cast, mine. 30702761 Yi Fenjiren 20176024, Joanna underscore underscore Kane, Coil Wu 1.